Thank you. So welcome, everyone. My name is Angela Amato, and I've known Patricia for many years, and we knew her through the landmark worldwide community and through the Wisdom Unlimited course, which many people are here from the Wisdom Unlimited community and the facilitated wisdom course. We invited people to rename yourself after your name based on how it is that you knew Patricia. So uh, if you scroll over your screen, there's uh, if you scroll over your screen and there's three dots on the upper right corner and you can rename yourself if you'd like to and say where you are, if you would like to do that also, um, what city you're in right now. And we do ask people to stay muted, except when you're speaking. And one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the recommendations I have is uh, Maggie is our Zoom manager and she will be spotlighting people as they're sharing, but also in your upper right corner, there should be a little drop down that says view. You can have a choice of speaker view or gallery view. And I recommend being in speaker view in terms of hearing people speak. So, and so Maggie, will, Maggie, as I said, will be doing that highlighting our speakers. So we called this event, the celebration of Patricia Doherty's life, we called it Love Out Loud because for many people who knew her, that was really the expression of who she was. That's what her life was. That's how she, how she lived was love out loud. And we wanted to take this opportunity today to honor this really extraordinary woman who left us so suddenly and unexpectedly, but to really honor her and honor all of her contributions to us to share some favorite memories of her and to just be in the presence of who she was for us and for all of us. So we know she had an extraordinary life. We know she was the oldest of 13 and many of her sisters are here with, here with us today. We're so, so pleased that you could be with us uh, today. So pleased that you shared the pictures with us. And uh, some other things people may not have known is that she, she was in an order of nuns, was the order of precious blood. And she was uh, in that, in that order and was going to become a nun, except she stopped right before her final vow. So right before kind of like the last steps. So in some of the pictures that you saw were her in that, in that order of precious blood, but she was an educator. She trained teachers. She had been an assistant principal. She did a lot of consulting, including early childhood and English as a second language. She worked for the state of Illinois, for the Chicago public schools, and she taught teachers, she taught teachers. And so she also had an extraordinary commitment to children and to education and to growth and development in that way. And then many of us who are here knew her through Landmark and through the Wisdom Unlimited course. She did our entry level program, the Landmark Forum. She did that in 1997. And she did the wisdom course in 1999. So it's been more than 20 years. She's been part of the wisdom community. And that, that was also a really, really huge expression of her commitment to people's growth and development, to people being fulfilled, being happy, being fully expressed as the contribution they are. And right up until the end, she was expressing her passion for the wisdom course also, I understand, inviting people right up to the end to come to wisdom introduction. So um, she always expressed, we knew her as that expression always of community and of love. And so today, the way that, that this celebration will go is we're gonna hear from some people who knew her in Landmark, we'll give people in her family a chance to also express what it is that they like to express. If anyone who is here who knew her through her work in schools or in education, you're, you'll also have a chance to share if you would like to um, share about that. There's some people who've been, uh, who asked to share, people who've been invited to share in, the, in these different arenas of her life. And then in, after a little bit, after we hear from some people, we'll have what we call breakout sessions. Those are, if you're not familiar with Zoom, those are smaller sessions where we're just a small group together. And we'll have those a little bit later for everyone to actually have a chance to share with other people your most precious memories and what it is that Patricia contributed to you. And then we'll 
In terms of the slideshow, we'll so show that again at the end also. Uh, and also people had made collages in honor of Patricia or selected collages that they had made in the wisdom course. It's one of the things we do in the wisdom courses, make collages. Some people had selected collages that remind them of Patricia. So we'll show those again at the end. Um, and you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to stay as long as you're able to. We are scheduled to go until six o'clock central. You're welcome to stay as long as you're able. It's fine if you need to leave uh, to leave before the end. And then also at the end, we'll repeat the information about getting a copy of this recording, getting a copy of the slides uh, if you would like to. And also those of you, I know many of you have sent uh, cards. Joan Williams is one of Patricia's sisters. Who's, uh, she's had also asked for people to send cards to her and she's gonna be sharing those with the whole family. And uh, that, that address in Oklahoma is in the chat also, if you would like to send, uh, send a card also to the family in terms of what Patricia meant to you. So again, thanks. Thank you all for being here. So, um, so the first person that we have to ask to share is Tobin White. So is the source person for the whole wisdom course area, one of our leaders in Landmark. And so I want to give Tobin a chance to share first. I guess I've got to unmute myself, huh? <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's really great to see you. It's really great to be here. It's really great to have this opportunity to meet with you all and really uh, be present to my relationship with Patricia Doherty. Uh, it's quite moving being here with you all in celebration of my relationship with Patricia Doherty. And I know uh, you all had very different relationships with Patricia than I did. I am, um, as Angela said, in the what's known as the source of the Wisdom Course area, which in uh, uh, more normal terms is like business owner and not the owner, but I operate like the owner where I create the vision. And then I have uh, executives and management and leaders to fulfill on that vision. And Patricia was one of them. And uh, uh, perhaps one of the best of them. They're all the best because <laughs> I know many of them are here. So I've got to include everybody. And uh, I only got to know Patricia, you know, Patricia, uh, and everyone reports to me in a sense. And, you know, so including Patricia when she was assisting for years and years before I had this accountability, she reported ostensibly to um, my late husband, Brian Regner, uh, in her assisting roles, uh, particularly when she was working closely with Margie Parrott. And I know that Margie and the late Margie Parrott, and I know that uh, Margie and Patricia had a very close, very intimate relationship that uh, really gave life to so much and so many and uh, so vast uh, much life that Patricia and Margie in their relationship created in Chicago and elsewhere and farther reaches than Chicago, obviously. But I know how important Margie was to Patricia and I love to think that they're <laughs> there. <laughs> together again, <laughs> not that they ever separated, obviously. Um, uh, and I say a particular um, hello to um, uh, Patricia's son, who I got the opportunity to meet uh, tangentially and uh, on the phone uh, recently. David, yes? Am I right with that name? Is he here? Is David here? Can you say hello? Is that Mr. Doherty? It okay. is. Hi, David. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hi. Um, but like I said, uh, the, just as Angela was um, talking about uh, Patricia's accomplishments and the, the name of the event being the, uh, no, I don't remember. It's something of love. Love out loud. Love out love loud. Out loud. Exactly. <laughs> Patricia. That's Patricia. And there's, I think that there's, um, uh, layers of love with Patricia. So only recently did I interact with her directly uh, for the past maybe year. Before that, it was, you know, love and love 
and when Patricia and I started working and she, as she said, surrendered to our relationship, it was as though I was in her life like a fish hook and I wasn't escaping. <laughs> and it was surrounded by love. And uh, when, when, when you had that depth of love with that woman, life works, life's going to work. And that's really who Patricia was and who Patricia is for me is life working from love. It's great to be here again with you all. It'll be great to celebrate with you for the rest of the event. That's all I've got, Angela. Thank you, Tobin. Thank you. All right, and the next person, there's a particular form of the wisdom course, which we call the facilitated course. So it's facilitated in smaller groups. And uh, the person who was, was accountable for that is accountable for that and had a, also a very close relationship with Patricia is Rich Schuster. So Rich, we'll hear from Rich next. I'm, I'm honored to be with you. It's like, I know, I think most, of you by reputation. And Patricia used to talk about her sister's weekends. And David, I, I don't know that we, that Patricia and I talked, but that you didn't get mentioned somewhere along the way. So um, it's a, it's an honor to be, to be with you all. Um, it's hard to say how to characterize my relationship with Patricia. Um, I'm kind of a, I'm looking around at the pictures and I look at around the screens and know that I'm relatively a latecomer to Patricia's life. Uh, we, we got together to begin to play together in Margie shadow, uh, when the facilitated model of the wisdom course was coming into its own and, um, it, what do I want to say about Patricia? Um, this is a bit corny, but for me, Patricia is someone, if she were by a pond and stuck her toe in the water, all the fish would gather there. That's kind of how it was with her. Her uh, home was available to everyone. It's like, it was a, like a near public space. Uh, she, if you were around Patricia, you were welcomed. That's simply how it was with her. Uh, our latest game together has been around this matter of training people uh, associated with the delivery of this facilitated model of, for the wisdom course. So she and I, I hold it, we're still together doing that work. We had a, a training week, a training week that we planned. And I think we were on the phone. We've been on the phone every day for months and months. So it's like, I'm a late comer, but we were, we were, I guess there's a word that, that shows up in the, in the partnership explorations course in wisdom talks about the definition of partner and it's it's something like however you be whatever you do or say i am given power or i'm 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 made better by it and whatever i do and say you're made better by it and that's how it was with Patricia and me. It's kind of like the, the comedy routine where you always pick up where the other person left off. That's kind of how it was with us. Um, and um, so just a few minutes ago, we, Patricia and I, finished the delivery of the third weekend of a five weekend wisdom course. And uh, she is, I mean, like I have her here, with me uh, as we're doing as we're doing this work, um, 
her, it's, it's clear she is all about community, having people be together, and a, an intense commitment to everyone's growth and development. Um, so I am blessed to have had the opportunity to play with her. Uh, and I just thank all of the rest of you who prepared her for the time I got to be with her and that, and then Noreen and I got to be with her. Uh, it is, uh, it's like I'm, I'm forever blessed. It's like the, I, I, I am, the, there's no loss for me except that I still make her wrong for not, for not being with me in the course, but I, I guess I guess I can give that up. Um, anyways, I think that's I think that's all I want to say. It's just really great to be with you, and um, and thank you for your contribution to her. I thank think you, that's it, Angela. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Now, as someone who had been her friend from almost the time that she had started at Landmark, Alan. Rosenberg wanted to share about his long friendship with her. So, Alan. Yes, so uh, it is an honor to be here with you all. And <clears throat> in thinking about this, my re relationship with Patricia goes back to the spring 1998, 1998 Introduction to the Landmark Forum Leaders Program. Yes, that was its name, and, and now its successor is the ILP. And in that program, we had to memorize section by section about 20 or 22 sections of a format. And that was for third weekend. And the Friday night before the third weekend started, there were many of us who still had some work to do. And somehow we wound up at Patricia's apartment, much like the, the, the thing for the fish. So we had about 25, 30 people in her apartment and we worked till I was there to like 2 a.m. And somehow we got our homework done. And that was the beginning. And really what I'm present to looking back on that is the commitment of Patricia to people, to everybody. And she was a stand for our success, for our getting the program, each and every one. And a few years later, when we went to the new format, which you would know is the introduction today, the introduction leader, who was chosen to go and get the initial training and bring that back to the body was Patricia. And someplace in there, we became friends. We, our relationship was food and food and conversation and many dinners over the years. And then conversations, usually starting at the time where most people were going to bed like 10 or 1030 and we would talk for hours. And it was, I was always clear in those conversations of her commitment to the kids, the, the children, the Chicago public schools, her family, her son. And often we shared our trials and tribulations as parents dealing with our children. And I'm just, what a wonderful person. I will just miss her. And that's what I have to say. Thank you all. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. And then Patricia worked out of the Chicago office of the of Landmark Worldwide. And James Baird is here as the center manager for the Landmark's Chicago office. So James, what would you like to share? All right. Well, Angela, thank you for you know asking me to be here. And first off, you know, this the the people on the call is very indicative of what Patricia would do. And, you know, you see the gathering of people. And as I went through the pages of people, you know, there's a lot of people I haven't seen here before. And as I look at them and I see them, I'm like, oh my goodness, these memories come back. And 
And that's really what Patricia did. I, my first time that I really knew of Patricia was back in 2000, when I became a staff member for Landmark. And at the time, Lisa Levitt was her center manager. And Lisa wanted me to pass on her condolences and her love. She couldn't be here today. And, you know, it really did, it started with Lisa. And um, I'm now the center manager of Chicago. And I really got to know Patricia over the last year, year and a half, because we would meet every other week, every two weeks on Thursdays at four o'clock central time. And it didn't matter what kind of week I was having, it didn't matter what kind of day I was having. Those 30 minutes with Patricia and Angela were really the highlight of my week a lot of times because it was just so much joy. And as people have said, love. And the thing about Patricia was, it just wasn't the people in the wisdom course. You'll hear a lot about the wisdom course today. And it just wasn't about that for Patricia. You know, she always asked how the staff was doing. She asked how the graduates were doing. How's the center doing, James? What's happening? There? How are you doing? You know, okay, every two weeks, I really got somebody in depth. How are you doing, James? And it was just so heartfelt and meant so much. I'm going to miss those calls. I'm going to miss what Patricia not only brought to the center, but what she brought to the community. I mean, you could hear, you know, from Tobin sharing to Rich to Alan, it really was. She, there is no doubt, Patricia made a difference, literally, for millions and millions of people's lives. You know, Rich, you talk about putting the toe in the pond, the fish would gather. Well, when they gather, there's a ripple effect. And that ripple will continue for a very, very long time. So, Angela, thank you for allowing me to be here today and to really just express our love you know, on behalf of Landmark staff, center managers and executives, just thank you for allowing us to express the differences she has made for this enterprise and for people literally all over the world. So just thank you. Thank you, James. And thank you for the greetings from Lisa and from the other executives also at Landmark. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, I did wanna give David, uh, Patricia's son. David, would you like to share now or would, do you wanna wait a little bit I'll share a little later. Would you like to share now? I can go ahead now if that's all okay. right. Okay, great. So, hey, uh, first of all, um, thanks for putting this on. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Um, she loved you guys, like everybody who's here. Um, my mom was full of love for people. Um, and, and so she was really lucky to have you. Uh, I think it's easy to say the other way is we were lucky to have her, but <laughs> I think, you know, her life revolved around the people in it uh, and kind of everywhere she went. Um, and so that's just, uh, it was so special for her, right? Um, and so important. So uh, thank you all. You know, I was thinking stories and I, I remember I was probably first or second grade and we didn't have a lot of money and uh, we were carpooling. and she would always buy these other kids. We'd stop and she would always get them something. And I didn't get it being young, you know, because we didn't have any money. Um, and as I got older, that's that's just what she did. Right. She was a she was a giver. Uh, you know, and, and so whether it was her kids uh, at the schools, whether it was uh, fighting for women's health uh, rights or, or that, um, you know, my mom was just all in. Um, and I'm going to miss her. Uh, you know, you would call, I would call her and I would, I would say, um, can't wait to tell you this story. She was just so excited for other people's joy and, and happiness and and you know like when you hear her uh people talk about her like she just loved other people and other people's success and and she always wanted to be a part of that and you know my son moved to Chicago and uh he got to spend some some just really really quality time with her and, and uh you know, I, I think she just changed people's lives. And, um, you know, somebody said that the ripple effect uh, will be felt. And, 
And I, I agree with that. And, you know, when you look at those pictures of her and her sisters, and uh, she was the oldest of 14. Um, and, you know, the, the relationships she's had uh, for her, it was just all about relationships. And one of my aunts uh, sent me a poem and, and it was, don't miss me more than once a day. So I missed her now. So thanks. Thank you, David. And we also all know that she was also lucky to have you, David. She always shared and spoke about you a lot. Thank you for everything you brought into her life. Okay, and then Paul McMichael. So one of the things that the wisdom course, one of the ways it operates is that we have a whole team of people who assist people who volunteer and assist in terms of putting it on. And Patricia, the team members loved her so much, so much, so much. And we're so contributed to by her and developed by her. And Paul McMichael wanted to speak for the team. Uh, first of all, whatever I say won't uh, begin to cover everything that could be said. There's just not enough time to cover the nearly 20 years of our friendship. Personally, she was a dear friend who always, under any circumstances, made herself available to listen and offer her unique perspective to anything I was dealing with, like the movie uh, Tuesdays with Bernie and like what James shared, I had Fridays with Patricia. Every Friday for years, we talked about what we we're gonna focus on for the upcoming week. Above all, Patricia demonstrated her love and care for people. Uh, everyone that shared so far has had that in part of their comments. And it was evident in her chosen profession. But the way we in the Chicago community experienced it was mostly in her stand for and commitment to Landmark's Wisdom Course. What some of us here today know, and many do not, is that were it not for Patricia, and her love of the course and the people who participated in it, there wouldn't be a wisdom course in Chicago. For over 20 years, it was her promise that there will be a wisdom course in Chicago. Year after year, she did everything required to have that happen. Hundreds and hundreds of phone calls, causing the support teams required in order to produce the course holding events where our community could gather, whether it was for official course business or just to socialize and hang out, either in our home, which many of us fondly referred to as Wisdom Central Chicago, or the party room. Like her heart, her doors were always open. For most of those years, her role was as what's known as the source person in Chicago. The one who said, the course is gonna happen no matter what. When the shift was made to delivering the wisdom course virtually on Zoom, Patricia got trained to lead that course and led them from her home. When the opportunity arose to lead a live wisdom course, once again, Patricia rose to the occasion. On rare occasions, there appears among us someone whose greatness is so evident that we become accustomed to it and start to consider it as the norm. Patricia was one of those great human beings that we never expected anything less from. And now that she's no longer with us physically, we're discovering just how large a hole is left as a result. While she's a major loss to our community and those who knew and loved her, we're also part of her legacy for the wisdom course that begins in the Midwest region in the next uh, few weeks. And all of the successive wisdom courses in the future, 
the mark of Patricia Doherty will forever live. It was an honor to know and love her. And we're all better for it. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Okay, and then another wisdom course leader who worked with her in Chicago and in, in, in other things also is Christine Arbor. Hi, everybody. It's just fabulous to be here. Um, it's great to see everybody, really, and to scroll through the pictures and see each and every one of you. Um, let's see. Uh, Patricia and I, in many ways, were sisters under the wings of Margie Parrott. <laughs> mm. You know, we grew and developed together. You know, it's interesting, Alan was just sharing about doing, doing the Introduction Leaders Program in that time frame. I was in that same Introduction Leaders Program, though in Boston, that very same one. You know, we probably did the Wisdom Course at about the same time, like that, um, both with Margie, right? And when I first flew into Chicago, um, in, uh, to, uh, be trained to lead the wisdom course in it's probably 2004, 2000, 2003, 2004, something like that. Um, uh, Patricia was among the many, many people also here who welcomed me with open arms and, uh, you know, and was part of this extraordinary Chicago community for which I'm ever grateful forever grateful, forever grateful. Um, you know, years later, just a few years ago, I was back in Chicago, this time leading the wisdom course. Yes. And uh, from the get go, you know, Patricia's home, of course, was open. Many people gathered, I will miss that apartment. I know I'm not uh, I know I'm not the only one here that will miss that apartment, but I will miss that apartment, that fabulous apartment. And, you know, much like David talked about, right, <laughs> giving, buying things for the small children, whenever you walked into that apartment, there was this huge spread of food. So <laughs> often I would be getting off an airplane, <laughs> I'd land at her apartment. <laughs> And, uh, and there was this huge pet of food and this gorgeous view. And yet again, another gathering of people welcomed and at home with Patricia. You know, I called her the grandmother of the community, you know, the whole community. She was the grandmother of Chicago. And, you know, for a short while, while the regional wisdom course did not exist in Chicago, she kept the community going. You know, her stand was not just for wisdom and, of course, the Landmark Forum. Her stand also was for, you know, partnership and uh, 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 year-end vacation and vacation courses and advanced offerings and people participating and growing and developing and being, being contributions themselves in the community. I had the privilege in, uh, you know, recently for two years to train Patricia in the final steps of becoming a leader of the regional wisdom course. And we worked intimately together. And her commitment to, her commitment to Chicago and the wisdom course and her own growth and development and her willingness to, uh, you know, it's not an easy thing. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to become a wisdom course leader. Um, it's completely possible, but it really does take something to hold the everything that it takes to lead the wisdom course and her willingness to grab hold of and uh, every single aspect of it and uh, move beyond what was there such that she could actually be the person that was accountable for the wisdom course in Chicago. It was just stunning. So it was a gift to work with her that closely though we crossed paths a thousand times before that. Um, I sense her presence often actually these days. And I'm, uh, will take from her the real possibility of that kind of community and that kind of love. Just 
it's really is great to see you all. I love you. And uh, I will be back in Chicago again one day. God only knows how, but you know, <laughs> I love you all. And James, it's great to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thank you for so perfectly capturing that the leadership she provided for so many years and spirit she provided for so many years. Thank you. Um, and then Pam Prosser is another compatriot of hers in the facilitated wisdom course area in particular. And Pam's had some adventures with Patricia she wanted to share about. Hi, everyone. I, um, I have a little bit of an internet, so if it's a problem, let me know, I'll turn my video off. So I, don't, I, I know Patricia via wisdom, but we had uh, fun together. And, and I wanna point to two specific things. One is um, we were going to Connecticut for this training and it was snowing on the East Coast. And I had a, my flight stopped in Chicago and went on, Patricia and I were on the same flight into Connecticut. And she said, come ahead, we'll see what, you know, what we can do. And they canceled the flights. I got to Chicago, they canceled the flights. And Patricia was like, come over, you know, come over to my house. And the, the thing that was so typical Patricia was, she insisted that I sleep in her bed, not on the couch. I just expected to be on the couch. She was like, no, you take, and if you know Patricia, when she's made up her mind, she's made up her mind and there is no swaying her. She gets this look on her face, this thing with her mouth, and you know that there's no, uh, no, no going against Patricia. So that was uh, one thing, but we went to Panama together and um, it was, uh, spring break for my daughter and, and we just had a blast and, uh, we decided to all these people, my, my daughter, husband, a whole bunch of people where we were staying at this little tiny, um, surfing, you know, Patricia, she doesn't swim, but we're staying at the surfing, uh, camp hotel that my daughter had picked out. And, um, you know, there she and I were on the sides of the, uh, on the on the shore, cheering for those who uh, were taking lessons and standing up on the surfboard. But we decided to go to dinner with this group of people. I would say it was about 12 to 15 people to this restaurant. There was a famous chef who had a restaurant in this area and it was her birthday. And she, uh, we all went out and I expected to pick up her tab, right? It's her birthday. So, you know, eat what you want. I'm, I'm paying. And she got in her mind that she was going to, for her birthday, she was going to pay for everybody's meal, drinks. I was like, Patricia, that's crazy. You don't want to do that. But again, she got this look in her face, this thing, this, I don't know. People know what I mean when I say this kind of this, like, nope, this is what I'm gonna do. And uh, she paid for everyone's dinner that night for her birthday. And it's so typical, Patricia, how generous she was. I was horrified. I tried to talk her out of it, but she was not dissuaded. And uh, that is typical, Patricia. We had a, a blast, you know, I have, pictures that I'll share, I'll send of us sitting in this boat in the Panama Canal. Um, anyway, uh, I'll, those are the two stories. They're not wisdom, but they're typical, generous Patricia. And I'm so happy I made it through this without crying. When I saw seven pages of people here, I pretty much lost it, so. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Pam. Thank you for sharing such fun things that do so express her spirit. Thank you. Um, and then I wanted to give her uh, any of her sisters. So it's, it's so great. If you haven't realized, we have 
several, several, several of our sisters with us. And I don't know if any of your brothers are with us, uh, any brother with us also, but there's four of them were together. And Lisa and Helen thought Agnes might want to say something. Agnes, I don't know if you wanted to or not, or Jerry or Mary Jane, anything. I wanted to be able to give you all a chance to share. To share. So You're, you'll have to unmute and say, I will. Hi, Yar. Hi. Hi. Agnes, this is Lisa. Over here is Rex. This is Alice and Helen. And my brother Joe is over here. Oh, how great. <laughs> <laughs> I have not prepared anything, but I am just so, I'm humbled by how everybody has responded to Pat, to Patricia. And Oh, for all the landmark people here, we had such a passion for landmark. It was such a passion. It was like her uh, family. And for all of you that are listening, see, just know that your work with landmark is so important because she would talk frequently about different themes and topics with Landmark and how meaningful it was. And one one other thing to the lady that was on ahead of me that traveled with Patricia to Panama, she talked about that trip and how beautiful it was. And I'm so happy to meet you. So I'm not gonna keep on, but uh, thank you for Thank you all for being here. It's wonderful to see you. That's it. And we all know how important all of you were to her. I want you, I want you all to know that. She would share about you. She would share about her sister's weekend. She would share about just what it was like to be the oldest sister <laughs> and, uh, and all of that. So thank you so much. We're so happy you could all get together. Oh, it's so <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's so special. And it's so special for you all to be with us. So thank you so much. So I will, I will share. Um, yeah, I'm Mary Jane. Jane. I'm Mary Jane. I am from Valpo, Indiana. I am the fifth sister in our, our family. And, um, you know, everybody has heard that we had sister weekends where just us sisters would get together with no husbands, no kids, no TV, no radio, no sister-in-laws, just our blood. And a lot of times, um, Pat was busy with Landmark or the Wisdom Course, but she always tried to make at least one of the days and come down. And many, many topic was on the work she was doing with um, with landmark and and the wisdom program and i am amazed i i knew it was something she was deeply passionate about but in listening to all of you comment on what our sister meant to you you were like her family as well as we were her family and she will be greatly missed Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you all for being part of her life because you being part of her life really made her life full. Mm -hmm. And it was um, it was just a passion she had and and she will be greatly missed. Thank you. That's great. Mary Jane or anyone else, do you want to say anything about what it was like growing up with her? Oh, she was a brat. <laughs> 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 really quite a few times she was the oldest so whatever she said went and that was just the way it was and uh, somebody said there about that face she got when that's the way it is there ain't no change in it that's what it is and that was that was pat when she was growing up as well Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, wrangling all of you must have taken that quality. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say it was an easy process. <laughs> that would be a lie. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. Thank uh -huh. you.
And Jerry, was there anything for you? Jerry is the one who sent us all those wonderful pictures. So yes, Jerry. hi, how are you? Great. Um, I, you know, what I've been thinking about Patricia since she's gone is that I really don't think she understood the effect she had on people. Mm -hmm. I don't think that she realized how loved she was, what a difference she made in people's lives. Um, because oftentimes she would say to me about a particular thing, I wish I could have done more. I wish I would have done more. Mm -hmm. And I always thought she did the most she could, you know, and I just think she was that way about everything. Um, and even with her, Mary Jane referred to the landmark and our sister's weekends. You know, we would plan those a year in advance. So she would have it on her calendar. And three months before, oh, I can't make it on such and such a date. And it would be like, well, move the meeting. You know, <laughs> I had no idea how big Landmark was. I thought, it's just a matter of changing the date, darn it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but uh, she was, you know what? I'll miss her immensely. She has always been there for me. Um, through the toughest times. And Mary Jane said she was a brat, but she showed us all how to do things the right way. Mm. You know, she was definitely a leader in our family as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wish that I was sure that she knew how much I loved her. And that's it for me. Thank that's, you all. That's so great, Jerry. And, and we do apologize. We do schedule some landmark things two and three years in advance. <laughs> for your sister's weekends. And I'm so happy she was able to make some of them at least. So. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, and then Janice Martin is another friend of hers who wanted to share. So Janice. Hey, thank you, Angela. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I've known Patricia over 20 years and recently I moved to Chicago. So Patricia and I got to play more. And um, a couple of years ago, um, Patricia and Carla, who's here, and I went to, we were going to go to the Andy Warhol exhibit. And when Andy Warhol exhibit was coming to Chicago, that's it. I mean, it was everywhere. There was um, product, you know, it was the most hype thing, you know, in years and years. So we get down there to the Art Institute and we go up. And it's just totally mobbed. It's crazy. And we look at it and we look at those flowers and we go, Andy Warhol, we know this, you know, <laughs> do we want to be here? And we all said, let's go somewhere else. And to like in a moment, change what you'd planned on doing, what everybody was talking about. So what we did, there was an exhibit in the basement of the Art Institute, and it was called in a cloud, in a wall, in a chair. And we're like, what in the world is that? So we go down to the basement and it's all on um, mid-century modern artists who were living in Mexico City. And it was just this amazing experience of finding out of something about people and their loves that we didn't know. Like, I didn't know that um, Patricia had a little loom and that she loved weaving and that she wanted to go back to that. And everything we saw in this exhibit that we'd never seen before. And we were just, you know, excited and we were having fun. And it was so much fun to just abandon our plans. 
So we left the Art Institute and we walked by this restaurant, the kind that has in the window all these wonderful desserts where every single one of them looks like you want to eat it and it's perfect. And I said, well, someday let's go here. And Patricia said, someday let's go here now. <laughs> so we went in and we got all the perfect desserts and had the most fun. And, and then we went over to the cultural center and the cultural center is just this beautiful building. And in it was the architectural biennial. And we walked into like 10 foot by 20 foot pictures of a garbage dump in India. And we were just immersed in this garbage dump. Then we walked into a room that honored victims of gun violence. Then we walked into a room where people were saving seeds. And we walked into a room where people were growing food in Detroit. You know, it was all of that everything that life has to offer and just experiencing that like on a whim. It was just so much fun and it was so moving. And it's just really rare, I think, to have a friends that will just give up their plans and make something new up at the, sp the spur of the moment and to do that with joy and discovery. And, you know, that's who Patricia was for me. And, um, I was so glad when I moved here to have more time to play with her. Um, and in the last you know, few months to have time every week with her and to be with her. And I do know that she um, knew that she was loved by people. Yeah. So thank you. Thank it's you. All my heart. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much for sharing those beautiful memories. I did want to share with people something that we look at in the wisdom course in terms of life, in terms of human beings and life, which is that the philosopher Plato said that each human being is called by truth or beauty or goodness, and that every life is as an expression of at least one of these things, goodness, truth, or beauty. And that idea has been carried down through the ages, um, it, including the Catholic philosopher, St. Thomas Aquinas also expressed that in many ways. And so those are some of the, one of the ideas we expressed in the, or examine in the wisdom course. And when I was talking with the wisdom team and the people who knew her, people expressed like Patricia's life expressed all three of those things. So that she stood for truth in her work in education and being straight with people. As Janice shared so beautifully about beauty, right? She loved art, she loved going to art museums. And then if you heard the music when we were showing the photos and the collages of her, the cello player, Erica Lessie was one of our wisdom participants. That was also an expression of, we wanted to include that in showing the, photos and the collages of her in terms of Patricia's love for beauty, love for music, and as well as the collages that people made that reminded them of Patricia. And then of course, in goodness. So her work when she was going to become a nun, growing up Catholic in terms of goodness, becoming a nun, but also in wisdom, we say that goodness, that the expression of goodness is in community. And as many, many people have shared, she was such an expression of that. She was proud of her work in women's rights, for example, and many different expressions of community. And people express she'll always be with us. Her contribution to the whole community and to each and every person will always be with us. She'll always be the source of the wisdom community in the Midwest. And, and as people expressed her spirit of community and sharing her apartment, sharing her party room, all of those social gatherings. So we also wanted to include that in terms of recognizing her and celebrating Patricia's life. So and one of those people in the wisdom community of Stan Carpenter wanted to share. And Jerry Baden, hey, Jerry. Hi, Angela. 
Thank you. <clears throat> so um, Patricia and I, I think I first met Patricia probably in about 2006 um, when I first did the Transforming Yesterday's Strategy Program. And, uh, but mostly I was, have been involved with Patricia for the last five years around the Facilitated Wisdom Program. And uh, particularly, in the last year and a half around the Chicago Wisdom Course where I assist, uh, assisted as well. And um, I, in listening to everybody else share how many, how often they got to talk to Patricia, she and I had a standing conversation three times a week. So I didn't realize how special um, I was. Um, one of the things that I'd like to uh, just remark about was, uh, one of the opportunities of playing with Patricia was to contribute with Patricia and to be contributed to with Patricia. And inside of the, the um, Chicago Wisdom Course over the last uh, year and a half, um, I got contributed to by T Patricia. And uh, in, our, in our program that Rich just mentioned, uh, one of the things that I got, he said that I can say as well is I got to be a product of Patricia and it's an honor to be a product of Patricia. And uh, in a little way, in little ways to carry on what she stood for and to make a difference with others along that line. So, um, uh, oh, I'm also gonna tell you that on my phone, on the main page, I have Patricia's contact and I'm not taking it away. Because mm -hmm. I never know when she's gonna call. <laughs> she's calling, 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 call yes. us. Then. Great. Exactly. So, Jerry? 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 Oh. And here's the camera. Oh, okay, great. Um, well, my relationship with Patricia was through Stan. And it was only in that I would, he would be on a call with her, it seems like all the time. And I would just interrupt by asking Stan, I need this, can you do that? Or giving him his a chai latte. But the thing I remember that I'm left with is um, Stan was talking to Patricia, I think this was three days before she passed. And I popped in the way I normally do and said, hi, Patricia. She said, hi, Jerry. Hi, what, what do you have to say? Uh, and I said, oh, it's just great seeing you. And I knew she wasn't well. So I asked her how she was doing. She said, well, things have been better, but it's not a problem. Uh, I'm really fine. And uh, looking at that now, uh, I could say from that quick interaction, Patricia, in the face of any circumstance, was always a possibility for herself and for others. It didn't matter how bad something got. She was gonna create a possibility around it and have it work. So that's what I can say about Patricia. And also the difference she made for Stan, which in turn comes back to me as well, obviously. That's that's so it. So great, Jerry. She always wanted to be like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Things are going well. And yeah. And yes, for, for being being known, not for not for how well she was doing physically, but how well she was doing in her being. That's like, right. She was well in her being. That's yes. right. Her mm -hmm. her body it wasn't important to her. It was clear. She was, she was always being was a possibility no matter what her body was going through. Yes, great. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Thanks okay, and then someone who was part of the wisdom community, important part of the wisdom community and assisted with Patricia for many years, Alan Yang, who is the person who put together our photo show for today. So Alan wanted to share. Hello, thanks everybody. Um, I wanted to just share a couple things. One is, uh, you know, it was, really appreciate the opportunity to to put together the photos i, I really you know uh, learned a lot i mean from who she was in all these situations and i um i really see how patricia just took strength from and gave strength to community just uh, really created it for herself created it for others always asking you want to come over for dinner or for the you know whatever event she'd always have an event you know coming up 
Um, and that comes from being in a family of dozens and dozens of brothers and sisters on countless, who knows how many. Um, and just that's, I think that that's where it started from. So I just really honor all of the, the, the family who uh, gave her the muscle to marshal together people uh, to have fun, even though they didn't want to. Um, and then the other thing that uh, just amazed me about Patricia was she really, uh, whatever her life threw at her, she used it. I mean, she really took it as a lesson, as a way to empower herself, as a way to inform uh, how to live, just, uh, just you know, the the whole episode with cancer it wasn't about the cancer it was about like what does it take what can we do with that right not as something wrong but as something to like okay let's let's use this as a life lesson um and that was like wow that was boy um uh and then just just this like i said before this constant uh spring of actions and plans and events and you know, there's this thing coming up and do you want to be at this thing? And so, uh, you know, I, and just, just that, just having that sort of world vortex of energy, just kind of, it's like, yeah, of course fish would want to come and be by your toe, honey. Cause man, oh man, there's a lot of stuff happening over there. So, um, uh, I want to just end with, with, uh, kind of, uh, something I'm very grateful to, for Patricia for, and then a little story. Um, so uh, Patricia had in mind to go out to Connecticut uh, to uh, celebrate Margie's uh, birthday. So she was calling around, calling around. And so Janice Martin, who spoke a little bit ago, and I said, sure, yeah, we'll go. So it was just kind of this lark of a trip. We just flew out there, you know, rented the car, drove to Connecticut and, you know, to, um, and hung out with Margie and just kind of surprised her because I don't think she knew if any of us were coming and spent the weekend with her, you'll see the picture of uh, Janice uh, dressed as a lobster and uh, Patricia kind of standing by. Um, that's, the, that's from that weekend. Um, and I'm just so grateful because uh, Margie, not too long after that passed away. So it was, it was, uh, uh, it would have been a massive regret mm -hmm. to know that Margie passed away and I didn't get a chance to see her like one last time. So, um, so I just always be grateful for Patricia for just thinking of that and um, uh, just reaching out and make, you know, again, making things happen, causing events, causing things to, to happen. And then um, the last thing is just a little story about the, the apartment or the condo. And I was with her one time and she said, you know, I was looking around for a place to, to like settle in in Chicago. And I visited the, the, the building where she had been, she was living for these many years. And uh, she got this little kind of talking to the real estate agent and the real estate agent kind of goes, gave her a little hint of like, yeah, I don't think you can afford this. And I, I think Patricia went, oh yeah, we'll see about that. So, um, you know, the Wisdom Cares has a great debt to give to some snooty real estate agent who kind of just kind of called her on, I don't think you, this may not be the right place for you. And she made it happen. And for that, you know, we have her, her beautiful kind of overlooking Millennium Park and the lake and then the party room and stuff. So um, I'll just kind of remember that kind of, she was kind of fiercely gentle, but underneath that, it was like iron. And she, when she wanted something to happen, it happened. So, um, Anyway, just kind of just saw that little steely resolve in her for a minute. It's like, okay, all right, get out of her way. So I, that's that's all I wanted to share. Just a little little tidbits from uh, from my my little view of Patricia's life. Um, and just thanks for the opportunity to um, just remember her and, and celebrate her. So thanks very much. Thank you, thank you, Ellen, and thank you so much for putting together the collages and the photos. Also, so and thanks for everything you contributed to Patricia too. So thanks. Um, and then another really big part of Patricia's life was her work in education with the schools, her commitment to children, another expression, as I said, of goodness and as well as truth too. So, and we're so pleased someone from her who knew her in that 
part of her life also has come today and wanted to share. So Connie, is it Barr? It's Barry. Barry, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, you're you very like? welcome. It's an honor. It's an mm -hmm. honor. But in her name and a tribute to her, I have to put on a scarf <laughs> yes. because we always knew Patricia would come in with these lovely, beautiful scarves. Mm -hmm. We so admired them. And they, so many of them had stories. And mm -hmm. um, one of the, one of the um, opportunities she had to share her scarves was at a kindergarten workshop. And she brought all her scarves and they were able to sort and play and do all kinds of things with her scarves. So I, I just have to put my scarf on in honor mm -hmm. of Patricia. So I feel um, like I've been robbed a little bit. You all have known Patricia for a very long time. And I only have known her for seven years as part of the kids team. And so that's the kindergarten uh, development survey that is sponsored by the Illinois State Board of Education. So when I first met Patricia, um, we automatically cling to each other. I live in Belleville. David teaches in Edwardsville, which is right up the road. And her early days were spent in Redbud, which is just a little bit south. And so we were sisters. And so right away, but Patricia would always um, wrap her arms around you. It didn't matter. It was like we knew each other forever, but she, she made me feel very comfortable. And I thought, but as I watched her, we're, we're talking about the Patricia that we all know and love. I mean, she was one classy lady. She was a diva. She, as Alan said, if she wanted something, she was gonna work really hard to get it. And so as I watched her, I thought, oh my gosh, who is this? Who is this really? Because I wanna be like her when I grow up, you know, because she knew what she wanted in life. But I will tell you, she spoke about all of her friends at Landmark so much, but the love of her life was David and Isaiah. She was so proud that they followed in her footsteps and have reached out to touch the lives of boys and girls. And um, so anyway, David and Isaiah, I just want you to know your mom talked about, grandma talked about you all the time and how proud she was. So I, just a couple of stories. Pre-pandemic, we traveled a lot as a team. There were only seven of us. But we would do Chicago, we would go to seminars, and of course, as you all said, she um, would open up her arms and we were invited to the condo. And we never, I never knew how beautiful overlooking Chicago could be because the only Chicago I really know is the traffic and the noise and the congestion and all of that. And so I thought, Patricia, you live in a beautiful world up here overlooking this beautiful lake and the park and, and she just loved it. And we loved, I mean, if she came back another life, she'd be the, the, what, the minister of hospitality or the mistress of hospitality because as I'm listening to your stories, everybody felt that way. Uh, my home is your home and so, um, I love hearing those stories, but I have to tell you, um, one of the things I remember when we would go to the seminars and the conferences and all of that, um, we would break away from each other and we'd all go to our sessions. Right. And so, of course, me, I'm going to play. I'm kindergarten teacher. I want to play, sing, dance and do all of that. And I'd say, Patricia, where did you go? Who did you listen to? Oh, this absolutely phenomenal professor. He spoke about Piaget's stages of cognitive development. I'm going, what? Really, Patricia? Oh, she, was, she, she had that thirst for wisdom. I mean, she just always wanted to learn something. So I said, well, why don't you come to this one with us? We're going, oh, no, he's doing a second session. I'm going back to him. I want to hear what he says. And I mean to tell you, I, that part of Patricia just amazes me because when I would go to those workshops, I want to do something fun. I don't want to have to think and, you know, do all of that. But um, so anyway, I, another story, though, I have to tell you, she always was, she would be the driver. If we wanted to go to a restaurant, because we were all scared to death to drive in anything uh, in Chicago, but she would be the driver. And we, we went to this restaurant one time and the valet came up and said, may I take your 
Oh, no. She didn't want him messing with our seats. She says, they always screw up the seats. I am not letting him drive my car. But her generosity and compassion, she would tip him. She would make sure. She, that's how he makes his living. I, I'm going to, it's just, I can't, can't have anybody messing with my seats. Or we'd go to a restaurant and it would be very crowded and you could see the waitress was just raveled and Patricia would say, honey, what's your name? And so she'd say, Susie, Marie, whatever. Marie, I know there's too many of us and not enough of you. It's going to be okay. I know we all have days like this. Don't she wrap up this conversation with this person like she knew her forever. And it just kind of, you could see the pain and frustration just disappearing from this gals. And it was a very busy time. And so, but she made everybody feel so comfortable, so needed, so wanted, so loved, like you're all saying. So um, yeah, those are a couple of stories. And I just, I still want to be Patricia when I grow up. But one last one, I'm taking off my scarf and I'm putting on a pink lady because we finally, for the first time since COVID, were able to get together with our team. And so we went to Seasons 52 and sat in the same booth that we sat in with Patricia a few years ago. And we all wore our pink ladies because we all didn't have scars. All had, I brought enough pink ladies for everybody. And this is what we did. So pre-COVID, uh, we were, I was frustrated. I couldn't get together with my team. And so I sent them glasses. Do you see? It says, because kids, and kids is the name of our, our program. And so we all toasted Patricia with a glass of vino. And I know Cabernet is, was one of her favorites. She might've had others, but I made sure. So today, here's to you, Patricia. We're gonna miss you. We love you. And so thank you all for allowing us to be here. I know some of my other coaches are on here, but they oh, asked hi. me to, to speak. So here's to you, Patricia. Oh my God, Connie, thank you so much for just representing that such important part of her life and her contribution. And, and yes, we should all toast. Everybody look at like what they want to toast in terms of toasting, toasting Patricia. So <laughs> Absolutely, 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 Connie. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Great. And then we have a couple more people uh, asked to share, and then and then we'll have some what we call breakout rooms so that everybody will, can have a chance to share. All right. So Edie's son was in one of her last wisdom courses. So there you are. Hey. Hi, everyone. Oh. I am one of her participants in her, in her course. I remember, you know, she talked to me about the course and I was like, unless you hold my hand, I couldn't do it because my plate was full. I'm an introduction leader and doing wisdom at the same time. I didn't know how it was possible. And uh, she said, I'll be there with you along the way. I said, you know, I mean, holding my hand, I mean, serious. I'm not, you know, kidding. And, uh, and I had the pleasure and the honor to literally talk to her every single week for the whole last year. And I had written up something that I wanted to share. Patricia was a woman with a limitless love who was intentional about how she wanted to live and contribute. When I was in her presence, I could kick and scream like a three-year-old, be a pissed off adult, be unreasonable, be broken hearted. Just being with her was pure love, caring, freedom, empowerment, anything you want, nothing hold back and all the beauty and the simplicity that resides in her as a human being she shared with me and others that's all she wanted to do with her life impacting everyone around her to see the beauty 
of the freedom and power and love transcending the whole community around the world. How amazing a simple act of listening and a way of being allows so much to be present, present to humanity, present to love, present to what is possible. I had the pleasure and honor to be with her as a fellow traveler and a participant in her course. Her way of being will forever change my life. The freedom that is always, the freedom is present, the empowerment that I get to choose. I will remember and pass on what she has shared and show me it's all simply all is well. Nothing is wrong. No place to get to and nowhere else, no one else to be, to just be just me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is the outcome of Patricia's work, isn't it? So beautiful thing for one person and then more and more and more and more people that she contributed that to 80. Thank you. And then Laura Cox. Thank you. Um, you know, in, in Landmark, we sometimes refer to the wisdom division as the well-being division. And Patricia really embodied that in everything that she took on. Um, I didn't get to know her for a very long time. And yet it seems like she was someone who I've always known. Um, I was one of the, the lucky people who got to have uh, regular phone calls with her on a um, multi weekly basis. Um, because I was training to be a wisdom course leader and she was my committed listener and um, a committed listener is someone who sees what's possible in who you are and always listens to you from that and <laughs> that's that's what she always did um it, every like I could rely on Patricia for picking up the phone or connecting to the Zoom with a, oh, hey, kiddo. <laughs> and it didn't matter how I was, just like Aidy just said, I could show up anyway. I could be angry, I could be petulant, I could be um, all of the different ways. And it's not a problem. It was never a problem. And the last time I spoke to her was at the end of December. And uh, we, agreed that we were going to pause temporarily our regular calls and she asked me to connect with her after january 4th she had an appointment and she wanted to get past that appointment and january 4th came and went and i thought about patricia every single day and i didn't want to be a bother and if you are familiar with wisdom, you know that we call that a sticky. Uh, and Patricia definitely would have told me to put that in my autobiography. Um, and I didn't want to be a bother f for so long that I missed the opportunity to connect with her again. And when I learned of her passing, my <laughs> initial machinery kicked in and made it, I, I was making myself really all kinds of wrong and <laughs> I let myself in, indulge for about 30 minutes. And, and then it was, it was almost as if she was standing right next to me. And she's like, okay, kiddo, you can be that way if you want. You, you can, like, there's nothing wrong with making yourself wrong. Let me help you if, if that's really how you want to be. Or perhaps, she was always saying that, perhaps, perhaps you could choose a different experience to try on. And it was in that moment that I realized that it didn't matter that I didn't call her because Patricia knew how very loved she was. 
And I know how very much Patricia loved. And so out of that moment, I decided that my expression of Patricia's legacy is really to take on loving out loud. Because I can think about people as much as I want, but thinking about people doesn't communicate what they mean to me. And so I've had some of the most amazing conversations with people who I love deeply, who I haven't gotten to talk to in weeks or months or years. And I've been getting together with friends that I haven't seen since before the pandemic. And every connection that I have with somebody in my life is the opportunity for me to practice being like Patricia and for me to practice loving people out loud. Um, and very much like what Connie said, I want to be like Patricia when I grow up and I want to embody that grace and power and the allowing and that space of it's not a problem. And that space of hey kiddo <laughs> um, with every interaction that I have with other people um, and if that's something that resonates with you, like I, I invite you to take on loving the people in your life out loud as well, because that's how we get to keep Patricia alive. And um, it's a practice I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Great, right, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you could put me back, uh, Maggie. So, um, Thanks. So we're going to go to what we call breakout rooms if you don't have a lot of Zoom experience. And that's a group, uh, it's a smaller group. And so that everybody has a chance to share. And you will have a countdown. Uh, there's a countdown timer if you're familiar with Zoom so that you can make sure that you get around to everyone. And I invite you to share if you have favorite memories if you have things in terms of what she contributed to you that you want to that you wanted to share or Laura shared who just shared was a couple of things one is some people have let me know you have favorite patricia isms so if there are some favorite phrases or things that she used to say that that you would like to share and give away to other people what was your favorite patricia ism or if you're present to that what is it that you are going to take on in terms of the legacy of carrying Patricia forward? What are you going to do if, if that's there for you? So whatever it is that you want to share is completely fine. All right. And so, um, so I think we'll take about 25 minutes. Uh, when we come back, we can, that gives everybody about five minutes or so to share. And, uh, and so when we come back, we can see what else people would like to share with the whole group. Did everyone have really wonderful, cherished time in your breakout rooms with, with other people? Awesome. So uh, a couple of other people wanted to share. And, and if you'd like to share, please raise your electronic hand. So with the way you do that is on the bottom of your screen, there's something called reactions. And if you could raise your hand and um, if you've, some of us, some of you, sorry, have joined, just joined us or joined us more recently. We are inviting people to put after your name, if you know how to rename yourself, the way that you knew Patricia. So if you knew her through her family or through the education or the kids project or through wisdom, or if you would, like to do that. So, okay, cool. Barbara Lavalor. Thank you so much, Angela. Yes, I was in the program, or I am in the program as a facilitator, and Patricia was training, um, training me and my uh, colleagues, uh, my facilitator colleagues who are in training to become senior facilitators. And although I never met her in person, um, we, we were on calls for the last, oh, quite, well, three years uh, together. And then more recently when she was uh, co-leading the course. And so she was with us for the first weekend. And then the second weekend, she wasn't with us. 
at least physically. She was there for sure. I mean, Rich yeah. had that picture he showed earlier um, in the in the uh, main room where he showed the picture of, of Patricia. So, and and I was just sharing with this delightful couple from Chicago, Althea and Chaga Walton, uh, they, uh, that a couple of times during the last couple of weekends in our course, I've, I've had the physical sensation, in fact, it's giving me goosebumps right now, that Patricia's on my shoulder and she's saying, ask them if they've located that in their autobiography. <laughs> have, have you had them, have you had them collage that or... <laughs> Are they in their origin, their her originating circle or whatever? I mean, it's just like um, it's, uh, I don't know if I don't know how how to explain it other than it's it's a wonderful experience to have that presence be so real, and I'm so thrilled that many of her Patricia's sisters and uh, the two brothers are with us, and and David, her son, um, she definitely talked about her her siblings and her son and um I, I was just honored and blessed to have known her to have been trained by her and I, I do miss her and um and I, I don't have a scarf on today it's almost like I'm I feel naked because I I'm a scarf person and I love scarves and I loved Patricia's scarves they were always so gorgeous and for me um, Patricia just personified grace. So thank you so much. And thank you for putting on this, this, um, this afternoon of being able to share about someone who is so special to all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Really, thank you. And I apologize, the hands got accidentally lowered. So if you wanted to share, please raise your electronic hand again. Or if you don't know how to do that, just unmute yourself and say, I want to share. All right. <laughs> oh, Angela, I'm sorry, but I forgot to share the, the, the Patricia-ism. Yes. Uh, we here. could have this be a problem and we don't have to. Isn't that great? <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Osa. Well, I said it in my small breakout group. I wasn't going to come today because... I just thought, I, I don't want to be with it. One more person who is a champion for me is not here on the planet. And then I really got, well, of course she's still here. Mm. The minute I, and I postponed it and postponed it and I jumped on late and I'm so grateful I did. Patricia championed me in becoming a wisdom course leader apprentice and we talked off and on and she welcomed me to the Chicago Center when I moved to Indiana last year and and we, she was just a willing voice who just was willing to talk and empower me and put a little air under my wings as I was growing out of being a widow and back to being a living person in color, not in black and white and all of that. So mm -hmm. I had to come and say how she was just kind to me and available and would pick up the phone. And, and I was just sad when I called her and then. I didn't know she was ill, so she didn't call me back. And I thought, well, something's off because that's not who she was for me. So I'm just honored to have known her and, and been welcomed to Chicago by her to the new center. And she said, well, you can have two centers. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> your Michigan center be for your Michigan people. And you can join in and do that. And you can have Chicago, too. So, yay. Yay. Thank you Thank for being here, Osa. Thank you. And Paul Freyermuth. Well, hello, everybody. Um, yeah, I, you know, it was really hard to lose Patricia because I really didn't have a warning. You know, I mm -hmm. thought she had beat cancer. She had, you know, everything in her world was, you know, going to work out. And, um, and I really didn't, I wasn't prepared for Margie, you know, when we lost her either, because, mm -hmm. you know, she had, 
just gone through procedure and it sounded like the prognosis was really good. And I met Patricia because uh, Margie said, you should be in the intensive. You should train to be a facilitated wisdom course leader. And so I had to track down Patricia at the conference. And Patricia was already busy at the conference, but she, you know, made the time to meet with me and talk to me about what that meant. And, uh, you know, and then after that, we, we spoke weekly for a long time. And, um, you know, there was, my parents both spent a lot of time in the Chicago area and I'm always comfortable with people from the Midwest. And I always feel like Chicago, even though I grew up in the Detroit area, Chicago was always my second home in the Midwest. And, you know, so I signed up for Patricia's first wisdom course that she was leading. Yes. Uh, to support her because I hadn't done the, or the, the regional course for 20 years. And I really wanted to compare that with how that was versus the facilitated course. And so it gave me a lot of time with Patricia that, you know, I'll always cherish. And, you know, I, I haven't had 20, 30 years with her, but I had a lot of time with her over the last, you know, two years and plus. And she made a huge contribution to my life. And, you know, I, like Margie, I thought she'd be there after my mom passed away. And mm. my mom's still kicking at 92. And I don't know how I lost Margie and Patricia mm. for that. So um, I loved them both. And, you know, I, I know they both knew that I loved them and mm -hmm. they meant to me. So that's good. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, Paul. Thank you for being in that last course with her too. So it was great. You know, she cherished that you were there. She did. And let's hear from Heather Dart. Hi, everyone. Um, you know, I think when I think about Patricia, I think about the times that we laughed a lot. Mm. And um, especially if I were, you know, we sort of had this understanding if I got on it about anything, I could just call her and just be noise and she would, would just laugh at me just because that interrupted it structurally for me. So I have this thing that I now send to people. I just, here's, here's what she created this emoji. Uh, this is her being, <laughs> being me when I'm on it. And then this one. <laughs> Which is this sound Patricia, like stone face, a little bit of cat, like, nope, they're wrong. They're just wrong while I eat a sandwich, you know, and, and um, I shared in the breakout room um, that, you know, for me, Patricia just, um, she, she just granted me being for hours and we would drink coffee like until 11 o'clock at night. And um, I joked, I went and bought this mug for this is if anybody was at her condo drank out of this coffee mug at some point and I when I joked about it just that I could be having her at my home all the time mm -hmm. and hosting her instead of her being always the one having to host and um I, I said in case she ever dropped somebody ever dropped it we had a backup but it was really about her going to Hawaii because whatever this is it's some some mm -hmm. Hawaii thing but that was all about the vacation courses. So for me, this is a structure about fulfilling what you want because you can and getting trued up to what you want. So this, all these structures I have. And the last I thought I would share was my, I've had this screensaver on my phone for five years. And, you know, 
some days I look at it, I get sad that I'm never standing on that balcony again, but not because of the view, but because we're in the space of the, of really that however you are is okay. Ooh. And, and her, and being able to sit on her amazing sofa, which Pam Prosser, she slept on, so let you sleep on the bed because she loves sleeping on that sofa. It was so great. Anyway, That's so sad. for me, I hear Patricia mocking me, <laughs> making fun of me, but mostly laughing at our own humanity oh. and, and having that all be the joy of just being alive. Oh. So, thanks. Heather, Heather, hold up that screensaver again. That's the view from her balcony because people have been, not everybody has had a chance to be there in her apartment. So I want people, that's Lakeshore Drive and Lake Michigan. That's the view from her apartment. So great, Heather. Thank you. Thank You're you. Because mm. we want to hear from some of our Europeans too, who knew her. So Helen and Eilish. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep hey, um, Angela, thank you so much. I think um, what I'd really like to say to her family and to her son, David, is, um, you know, Patricia had an extraordinary impact across the ocean, transatlantic impact. It hit the Irish shores. And we probably feel extremely lucky and privileged that we had time with Patricia. Um, I was sharing earlier that I did my interview to participate in the intensive training for the facilitated wisdom course to train as a senior facilitator. And unfortunately, Patricia left really big shoes to fill. <laughs> and I, you know, I doubt my capacity to fill them. And, um, but I just feel extremely lucky that um, she was part of my life. I had a chance to be in her life for a little while, but most importantly, she was part of my life, part of our life. And um, I really just want her family to know that she reached a huge, huge global area she really had a huge reach and left a big impact on me and um she left me with one thing that was very present for me today as we were doing weekend three of the facilitator wisdom course and the intensive um training course um that no matter what anybody is up to and as a facilitator if i've got a concern oh gosh where are they or whatever she said she would always say to me helen just perhaps that that person is dealing with the most important thing in their life at that moment. Mm. So in, in other words, get off it. <laughs> Don't be making anybody wrong. And she just said it and her kindness was so empowering. Her compassion, her kindness, her capacity to be able to say something in such a short, succinct way was extraordinary. And what I would always remember when I'd open the email on a weekly basis, she sent an email on a weekly basis um, to give us kind of like the newsletter of the week and mm -hmm. the contact numbers to join the global call on a Wednesday evening. But she'd always say, you know, ask us, how is life in your slice of the universe? Because that's mm -hmm. what it was, yeah. How is life in your slice of the universe? Mm -hmm. so, just a, a beautiful lady. So thank great. you. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. And I wish anything for you. Yeah, just very quickly. Um, I just feel very sad that I had not more time with Patricia. But in the short time I knew her, I, I was seen, I was loved, I was acknowledged. And Helen and Fidelma and I had the privilege to be with her. We had a meeting every two weeks. And the first time as a facilitator in training, I did not fill my room. And I was with Patricia and I would really want her to know in heaven that I filled my room this time and it was down to her. <laughs> Great. I want to say. <laughs> yeah, I think she knows, Eilish. I she think knows, she, knows. she knows. So I just say how much love I have mm. for her and inspiration. I'm in education and training myself. So she has inspired me to live out my life in service with joy, with love, with commitment. And so beautiful to be with you all to be part of this loving community that Patricia created so I feel very joyous and privileged to have been with her and what she has given to me and to my life and to the people I know so 
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, Thank you. And, uh, Angela, there's just one other thing that I'd really mm-hmm. like her son and her family to know is that ever since the moment I met Patricia, you know, mostly on Zoom, and I think at the, at the occasional time that I went across to the States for the um, conference, but Patricia had, um, she just, she had a way that was extremely special it oozed out of her and I had no idea of all of her background but I knew there was something special I couldn't quite put my finger on it and tonight um all the jigsaw pieces have come together and I really thank people for sharing those pieces because I I couldn't put my finger on it I just knew this woman was really special Mm. her energy her vibe everything and um thank you so much for having us the opportunity giving us the opportunity to share well you guys know she was Irish Catholic, right? So yes. that's, part, that's part of her specialness. So it's there in Ireland. All right. All right. Just part of it. All right. Yeah. Yes. All right. And let's hear from Rachel. Okay. So I met Patricia five years ago and, um, it was a it was a lunchtime. It was around one o'clock in, or two o'clock in the afternoon, um, and I was joining a, a facilitator orientation. And I was it, the facilitator orientation is you're asked to schedule five hours of your time, and it was like five hours. Oh my god, you know. But okay, so I scheduled this five hours, and within the first ten minutes of being on the call with her. I was like, I want to be a facilitator. There was something about the way she welcomed me and the other people that were there was unbelievable. I've never been so welcomed um, by by another person. And um, also I put these earrings on tonight in her honour. Um, <laughs> kind of mad. Uh, <laughs> But she was somebody that could really rock an earring. I mean, she, Mm -hmm. yeah, she, you know, with her gorgeous short silver hair and then she just would always show up in these fabulous earrings. And I can see, I can see um, Jenny got the memo as well about earrings. (laughs) Um, This is the first time I've worn these earrings, actually. So, Patricia, this is for you. Um, Yeah, always just so elegant and beautiful and I didn't know that she was going to be a nun and I, you know, things again, the jigsaw pieces have come together for me tonight as well. And I, it all makes sense because her being was just so gorgeous. And, um, you know, we say in the wisdom course, this, we have this distinction all is well. And she absolutely was the epitome of there's nothing wrong. All is well. So whatever was going on, in the world or with you, it was okay when Patricia was there. It was just okay. You could be with it and um, there would be a solution around her. Um, And I'm really touched to be here tonight and just listen to the the absolute magnitude of, of, you know, impact she's had on people. I can't, I mean, it must be thousands um, and will continue to have. and the other thing is my uh, my youngest daughter would often, you know, I'd be on Zoom on a, on a call on a Tuesday night and Patricia would be there. And often my my daughter would or one night she came and she kind of, you know, bombed in on the Zoom call. And of course, we're not supposed to have children on the calls, but she came in and Patricia just welcomed her in such a way that every week they would come and jump in on the call at the end, like clockwork. <laughs> And I honestly think it's because Patricia just welcomed her so amazingly, like all was well, you know, I was like, you're not supposed to be here. And Patricia was like, oh, hi, you know, just who are you? And, and it just, it just stayed with Bay, you know, that every time on a Tuesday night, she could just come and jump in at the end and say hello to Patricia. And it was wonderful. Um, And thank you, Helen, for reminding me about the emails, you know, how, how are things in your slice of the universe? I used to love that email. I'm going to miss that email, actually. Um, I just thought that was such a cute thing to say. Um, yeah. So 
Yeah, what great. a woman. I, I feel absolutely, completely and utterly honoured to be here. And thank you to her family, you know, for she was just a, an absolute angel for me. And um, yeah, I really will miss her being. And, and I, I promise to, you know, to exercise Patricia, to express Patricia in my life for the rest of my life. If I could be, you know, even just a tiny shred of, of her the way that she was, then, you know, I've done a good job. So I'll never forget her. Thank you. So great. And Rachel, you're in, you're in uh, England, right? Are you in England? Yes. Yeah, so I just want to make sure that people know the reach and thank you for being here. I know it's late there. Yeah. And so thanks all of you. And, and Fidelma, you raised your hand too. So you, well, you since, from since, Ireland, Ireland since and you're England. In, since yes. you're coming to Europe, Angela, I yes, thought right. I would put in my, my top and say, Penny. Um, what can I say? Um, so like Helen and Eilish mentioned, uh, Patricia contributed enormously to us. Um, I've known her just over the past two years um, through Facilitated Wisdom. And then as my co coach in the part course. And what struck me about her was she just got me immediately, you know, I only had to say two words or maybe even make a face and she had it. <laughs> it was just amazing. Um, and she didn't say a lot. And what she did say was really um, penetrating. You know, so um, for instance, on the, I think it was the third part weekend, we were given a, uh, homework or coursework or whatever you call it to register one person a day and of course I was shocked and the next day I had um, the, the coaching call with Patricia and I think that Eilish might have been there too and I announced this and Patricia looked at me ah I guess you can't do that and then she kind of traced back when was the first time you couldn't do something? And it was just so immediate, so succinct, so perceptive. And like uh, a few other people have said about her course, we're, we've, we've been on the third weekend, this weekend, and we genuinely felt Patricia's presence. So... Thank you for organizing this. Thank you to Patricia's family. Um, she was very much loved. She is very much loved. Ooh, great. Thank you. Thank you, Fidelma. You're welcome. Thanks all of you from England and Ireland for being on so late and so wonderful to hear from you and to know Patricia's reach. So thank you. And I just want to remind those of you in her family or uh, the people who knew her from the kids program also, if there's anything you'd like to share, please raise your hand also. So we'd love to hear the whole, all from all parts of her life. So, and Jenny. Hanson. Hi. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm spotlighted. Um, yes, I put on my scarf and my um, earrings. I had planned on wearing <laughs> these earrings and then my small group uh I was reminded and I was like, yes, the earrings. Cause um, I just, I, I think of her and the box and the earrings and, um, and really uh, I realized that I have, I have never met her in person. Um, I've only known her via zoom because uh, my relationship with her started last year. So I'm like, I'm like, Oh man, you guys got like seven years or five years or whatever. I'm like, Ah, you know, um, she, uh, I tried to quit the wisdom course a number of times before I started it last year. And she just spent hours with me on the phone, like didn't matter what I said. And she never pushed me to do it at all. She just, you know, like she was like, yeah, you don't need it. You know, you have everything you, you need. And, um, and, and it was really just her listening was so amazing. And I just wanted to be in that space. And, um, 
And just the, the, I cherish those phone calls that I had with her. And, um, and it's, it was weird to realize that I had never actually physically met her because our relationship started during COVID. And I do feel, I told my group, I felt, I I feel like I've hugged this person, you know, Mm -hmm. I feel like I've hugged her and she's embraced me and I, and I feel connected. Like I just, she, the way that she connected through the screen was just in just, you know, you can't duplicate that. She was just amazing. And, um, and, you know, my whole life has transformed since I started wisdom. I was in a very specific place at the start and then what I was able to produce. And I just think about, you know, and the course is amazing. The content is great, but like, you know, what if I had decided to do it next year? You know, I, I would have, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You can make meaning out of anything, but wow. uh, you know, it's just like, I would have missed her completely. Yes. Mm. That's, That's so it. great, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. How great. And we seize the opportunity. You never know what we're going to miss. Awesome. And Jim Wallen. Please unmute Jim. Do you know how to unmute yourself? Can you hear me now? Yes, great. Thank you. Okay, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, one of the few Clevelanders that are participating or have participated recently. Um, mm-hmm. I did a couple of wisdom courses with Patricia. And um, I don't know, something happened when I started speaking in her courses. I just kind of uncontrollably cry. And I do that. I, I did it today with my small group here today. And um, I had a quick question when, when was she studying to be a nun? Oh, someone in her family would have to tell us. Is it so, a while back or? Well, Jerry, yeah, well, she would have probably been about 20. So it probably been oh, okay. the late, the late it 60s. Was, it so. was right after she left high school. Okay. Good to thank you. I would say in maybe 65. Okay. I was wondering if she, what how could she, yeah, I, I, I guess it couldn't have been recently, but anyhow. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you know, um, actually she wanted to go down there. She wanted to join the convent right after grade school. Oh. So before high school, but mom and dad said too soon. So <laughs> after <laughs> high school, she went ahead and did it. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. That's so, so great, Jerry. Thanks. Go ahead, Jim. As long as I have the family's ear, I, I want you to know that I, I figured there would be there would be twice as many people on this on this call because she was so amazing. And so supportive. People, people must be busy today or something. Um, and the thing I shared with my small group, and it'll always be true for me, is, and I don't need to speak a lot, but she listened and miracles happened. I mean, it was magic. And I told her that. I said, this is magic. Like, you listened, and I got I got an incredible relationship with my son. Like, I mean, it, and... Many people, you know, people just get miracles from her listening. And I'm trying to tell people about the course. And I said, I don't know how she does it. I mean, there's no syllabus that I could see or mechanics or tricks or techniques. It's just she had this incredible capacity to listen, love, and just get people. I mean, that's always Patricia for me. Right. Great. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. And I, I also love, thank you in the family also, Hans, who was with some of you put in the chat about how she used to drive the tractor on the family farm and part of her life was as a farmer. It's so great. All that, all that in the past. Thank you, Jim. Can you imagine Pat driving the tractor? <laughs> Can anybody see that? <laughs> Knowing that she was the oldest one of you guys. Yeah. It was. She she worked the field because my dad worked. My mom was always pregnant. Mm. And she worked the fields a lot. Wow. That's great. Thank you, Mary Jane. And Harriet. Um, in our small group, we talked about the eternal. Uh, mm. You know, the last weekend of the... Uh, the, the wisdom course, and we do talk about the eternal and that, that there is this eternal, that Patricia continues to be with us. Mm. And um, I shared a, a poem in the small group, which I'd like to share now if it's appropriate. Yeah, it's a ahead. poem written by Merritt Malloy, Epitaph. Mm-hmm. Some of you may know it. 
when I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give to me. I want to leave you with something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known or loved. And if you cannot give me away, at least let me live on in your eyes and not in your head. You can love me most by letting hands touch hands, by letting bodies touch bodies, and by letting go of children that need to be free. Yeah. Love doesn't die. People do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. Love doesn't die. People do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. Mm. And that was... Thank you, Harriet. So yeah. perfect. Perfect, yes. perfect. Thank you so much. Yep. Mm. And Jennifer Blaha. I, I, um, I too have on my scarf in honor of Patricia. Um, whenever I was in Patricia's presence, I always felt like I was one of the most important people on earth and she always gave me the space to live into my greatness and I could see that she did that for everyone else as well as those of you I don't know hearing it from your sharing today you know she had that beautiful condo I one of the things I loved is looking out on the balcony because my son drives for Wendella which is a privately owned boating company in Chicago. And so I'd be on marinetraffic.com to see what tour boats I could see from her balcony and, you know, which one was, was going past. And she always had a pot of soup. She was always so welcoming and a bowl of um, not tangerines, but like sweeties. There's but like tangerines, the little orange ones. Clementines? Clementines? They have a different name. Okay. Cuties. 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 Yeah. Cuties. So cuties and the baskets she always had water and she was always so gracious and the collaging materials and um always so welcoming and through wisdom and and patricia and many others but always patricia that stand to break up my my young conversation of not belonging and sometimes something would start to come out of my mouth and i just look at her face and it's like okay i can like are you ever going to drop that it's like well yeah i could but i might keep it for just a little bit um but in the past couple of years, there's the missing that I didn't actually get to hug her and be in person with her because mm. it was such a fun and welcoming place, whoever was there. And yet one of the gifts of COVID was I was with her in a different way. And then when she started Nibbles and Nuggets in late 2020, I was with her five days a week and I wouldn't miss Nibbles and Nuggets unless it was something dire because I wanted to be with Patricia and whoever else was on that Zoom for that 45 minutes a day. And I will always be grateful for that gift for those five days a week through most of the pandemic that I was able to spend with her. And then towards the very end, I heard that she was having Cafe Wisdom on Sundays. And of course, anybody was always welcome as long as you were 15 or older. And um, to be able to be with her those last Sundays before she left earth this is something that I will just always, always, always be grateful for. That was such a gift with, you know, she was dealing with what she dealt with. And my mom was in the hospital for two weeks in December and we almost lost her. And in sharing that with Patricia and on Cafe Wisdom, my mom came to one Cafe Wisdom and Patricia asked her about her the next time. And I said, whatever. And she said, well, tell her to cut it out. <laughs> and so I was able to share that with my mom. Mom, Patricia says, cut it out. <laughs> like, move on. And um, gain that confidence and get your life back, which is what she's done. So um, I love her forever. I wish she was still with us here on earth. And I can keep her here by how I interact and how I be with other people. Great. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. That's the legacy. That's how she would, what she would want you to do. Yes, it's great, Jennifer. Thank you. And Mary Lou. I, <clears throat> I'm so moved 
to be here today. Um, I met Patricia in 2010 when I did Wisdom. And um, I, I took a break from Landmark for about eight years. But Patricia always kept me in the Wisdom community in Chicago. She'd call, invite me to gatherings and so forth. And when she was leading the Wisdom Corps, and I knew she wanted to become a Wisdom leader, and I decided to take wisdom again when Patricia was leading. And um, what an inspiration. And um, I, I just feel honored to have known her and to have had her in my life. And, um, and it's very impactful to see how she's impacted so many people. And I love the name of the, the loving out loud. It's mm -hmm. perfect for Patricia mm -hmm. and it's a great, reminder for me and probably for everyone here about doing that and yes. um, it, it's just um so um, and i and i i was raised i am an i half irish catholic was raised in catholic school so i can i'm sure she would have been a great first grade teacher too <laughs> making that child feel like they were the most important mm -hmm. person in the world and that mm -hmm. kind of listening uh is such a gift and uh, I know how much she loved her son and grandson and how she would talk about them and um, she's just an amazing person so uh, I miss you Patricia yes thank you Mary Lou and Susie how this conversation keeps building on what everybody's saying what Mary Lou just said because that's what I'm going to share about about mm -hmm. uh, my granddaughter um, who was I was dealing with and first of all I, I just want to acknowledge Allison Coy who got me in the course uh, never gave up on me I love you Allison thank you what a gift Allison thank you so much for getting me in the wisdom course so I did honor my word. I always said I wanted to do the wisdom course, but I didn't know it was going to be this awesome and this miraculous. So what I got from Pat Patricia was not only um, just a huge relationship back with my son, who's 40, who is um, not doing very well with alcoholism. Um, and he's in uh, recovery now, but it was a really hard time for me. And she was just there for me. But her listening of how I wasn't seeing my grandchildren um, and I've been crying, I'm sorry, but I, um, on our breakout, but she was like, um, listening for that was going to disappear. And I had no faith with the pandemic that I was going to spend quality time with them again. Um, and I was missing on the three-year-old and I missed from three to four. And then I got her back from four to, she's almost five now. But what, what somebody was saying that she would have been Mary Lou, a great uh, kindergarten teacher, because she's mm -hmm. like going to be in kindergarten. I got to be with her and listen to her like the mom and the dad weren't because of the stress and the other two children and her older sister has Marfan syndrome and they're always going to doctor's appointments and they're always going to this and then, you know, the homeschooling. And then I just wanted to love her. I just wanted to love her and I got her. And recently the miracle that happened was we were sitting on the couch together watching the movie I let her pick out. And again, I'm just being with people from the wisdom course, letting, just letting them choose what they want, not my agenda. She picks this movie and I fell in love with it. It's Transylvania hotel, something vacation or vacation, Transylvania vacation. And it's just absolutely adorable. But she held my hand the entire time, held my hand. When does that happen? You watch a movie with somebody. And she was just holding my hand. And it was like, and if she even saw me glance at my phone, you know, cause I'm in real estate, right? I always have to, right? She would look at me and I go, oh God, I got to put that phone down. But the mirror, now that was, that was just one of the highlights of miracles of being around Patricia and, and you know, just that, that that transformation you have with people. But then I was at her house and all the commotion was going on at dinner and the dad was doing something and the 10 year old sister was doing something. And then the 12 year old sister and the mom was in the kitchen and, you know, pick this up, clean this up. What are you doing over here? And all this commotion was going on. And the little four-year-old says to me, Mima, 
will you help me make this cake with slime and Play-Doh? And of course, normally I go, oh no, honey, I got to go. I got to get home, take care of my dog or whatever. And I go, uh, yes. I have never experienced that kind of love in my life that I stopped my whole world for her. And she connected so fiercely with me and let me make these little slime balls of confetti on this cake. And we made this beautiful, magical cake about this big with Play-Doh and slime that was beautiful. And I will never forget it as long as I live because that was a memory that I created with my granddaughter that I would never would have if it weren't for Patricia in this course. So mm -hmm. I'm eternally grateful to her. And I'm, she's always with me. She is my angel, just like somebody else. She is my angel and she's been showing up for me. And I put these ear earrings on right before the call, just because they're sparkly and magical and eternal. And everything is like how she is, is like she got to me of the greatness of God and the beauty that we can have every day that people have passed by. And she made me believe in that again. So I'm just so grateful for this course. And Allison, thank you again. Allison. Great, Susie, thank you. And Susie, Shane in the UK. What was that? I, I called on the next person, Susie oh. Sheen. Thank you, Susie Etter, thank you. Now I'm calling on Susie Sheen. Thanks. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Susie as well. It's completely thanks to Patricia that I actually am in this course well, it, it's thanks to, to Helen who, who invited me, but I didn't, it, and, and I value her friendship hugely and, and just jumped in. And I, I was sharing in the small group that actually on the first day when you've got an opportunity to pull out, I was thinking of doing that. And I had a conversation with Patricia and had a, a had a, a strong sense of her before I spoke to her. And I, thinking back, like you're saying, there's so much love that I've been sitting in listening from you and coming out of me as well. It's just such a privilege to be here. And, and what she said was, she listened to, to why I was, I was saying I, I, I would, was thinking of pulling out. And she just pointed out that there were so many special people in this course that it's unlike any other that has run. And she, she wasn't telling me what to do at all. She really, like you said, she, she got who, who I am and said, you don't know where you may end up at the end of this because it will go very quickly and, and you'll develop while you're on there. And I would ask you, to, you know, to, just, just to consider that when you make your decision and left, it, left, left me completely clear to do that. And it was so completely obvious to me that I needed to stay where I, where I was, where I am. And I, I wouldn't have missed any of this for anything she's just remarkable and I've just been to my own bathroom just a moment ago and it was like a, a message <laughs> for me it's like you know you won't be on your own there will there'll always be somebody there and I, I was thinking rums it's like you say she's just with all of us. Yes. Thank and you. And that Susie. might be the moment that I die or it might be anything. It was just like, you're all right, you know? Yes. And, and I really needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. So thank you for all your love that you've shared with me because many of you, I don't know you at all. Um, and thank you for today, That's just beautiful. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Isaiah. Are you go by Zay? I heard. Yeah, landmark people know me as Zay, but my Zay. Isaiah. <laughs> so um, I'm Patricia's grandson. 
Um, it's really hard speaking sometimes, but um, the best way I can describe being around my grandma is like being like in the eye of a hurricane, right? And like I had all my problems that I made myself and all the craziness of my life. And when I sat in that apartment, we all talk about, it was like, it was just so clear. It was, it was, that apartment is something special and that couch is something special. And the, uh, two summers ago, I, I lived with my grandma when I moved up here because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do and whatever. And and so when I got there, I was like, okay, I'll put my stuff over here and I'll, I'll sleep on the couch. And for two months, my grandma didn't let me sleep on the couch. <laughs> and I used to be really, really jealous, I think, of Landmark and her family and Landmark. And I just didn't understand the importance of the work she was doing and the importance that she, her role she had in seven pages of people's lives and more people that aren't here right and um i want to be my grandma when i grow up and mm. it's hard not having her here but i know if she was here she would say we can make a problem out of this if you want to, but we really don't have to. Mm -hmm. And um, she, her whole, whole life is, has been committed to the, the art of living and she always wanted to make it to be 100 and she didn't quite get there. Um, but she lived in a way that the years don't really matter. It was the way she lived that really mattered. and like my grandma, like um, her sisters were talking about, she's really, really stubborn. And <laughs> I'm the same way. And my dad will say that he's the same way. Um, but it was really when I surrendered to just her love for me and her advice. And, and that when that's when my life became so much easier and so much more clear. Um, and so she, like I said, I'm stubborn. And so for years she begged me and begged me to be a part of Landmark in a way. And it wasn't after I was that I understood why and the gift she was really trying to give me for years. And we, we talked a little bit about her sayings and like just her way of being and how's your slice of the universe today. And, and I think that really gets to the core of who she was. Um, I was talking about in the, in the breakout room, what a loss it is really to the world and our lives. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I think if she was here, she'd say the same thing. It, we can make a problem out of this if we want to, but we don't have to. And um, uh, it's just now we have to figure out how to pick up where she left off. And um, thank you, everybody, for being here and let me hear some stories that of the impact that she she had. Anything else, Isaiah? Thank you so much for sharing yourself and your love. And thank you for being open to being contributed to from her and listening to her. That's the greatest gift you could have given her. And I'm sure she's smiling right now and hearing, the, and hearing this gift from you, wanting to be like her and live like her. Thank you so much. And we all share in that sense of loss. Yeah, and, and trying to be like my grandma is not an easy thing, but I know, I know. It's definitely worth the the effort. So for sure, for sure. And thanks for sharing your very special sense of loss.
with us. All right, Allison. Thank you. Um, so one of the things that I haven't been hearing about, Patricia's been all of what everybody's been saying to me. Um, but what I haven't heard about is her mischievousness. Oh. <laughs> um, like she was facilitating a wisdom course and um, I don't remember if it was Brian or Tobin leading, um, but they we were doing a, a collage and they told us to make sure we did it so we had it on Saturday. So I did it and left it at home. So she said, do another one. So before it started, I did another collage and she looked at it and she goes, this isn't right. I went, what do you mean it's not right? There's three rules to a collage. They're all here. She goes, tear it up, start over again. So while we were there, uh, when I was sharing about it, I said something about um, what Patricia said. And I said, I still can't figure out what's wrong with it. And Tobin, it was Tobin. Tobin said to me, Patricia would never tell you anything was wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I was clear she was messing with me. <laughs> um, and, and she did stuff like that. And, and there was times like she was uh, a school vice principal and the oldest of 14. And she was very, very um, specific about what she wanted and what she wanted you to do and how she wanted you to do it. And I remember once in, in when we were actually in person wisdom courses and I was out in the hall with the person who is doing the statistics and stuff and we were chatting and, and Patricia came out and went, what are you doing out here? You need to get back into that room. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I was like, wait a minute, isn't this all about play? And she just started laughing and walked away. <laughs> and then, um, in January, um, I was on a long drive and I called her. I was going to send her a pizza because she loved Lou Malnati's and I knew she was home a lot. So I was going to order a pizza and send it to her. So I called Lou Malnati's and said, now, when she orders pizza, she either orders a whole lot of them or a single pizza. So what does she get when she orders a single pizza? And they said pepperoni and mushroom. And I was like, Trisha doesn't eat meat anymore. So I called her and I said, you know, I was telling her about it and she just started laughing again when I said, Pepper, she doesn't eat meat. She goes, well, I do on pizza. <laughs> there is just all kinds. Of, and then the, one of my favorite ones is I did see her during COVID, not a lot. And it was at a distance because we we're both immunocompromised, but I would bring stuff to her or whatever. And I remember going to her house once and um, she, I told her when I was getting off the highway so she could start making her way down and just pick it up because she was in training all weekend. And she came over to my car. She had her phone in her hand. She said, she leaned in. She's like, how are you doing? And we were chatting a little bit. And she goes, I should probably go. I'm in a meeting with Christine right now. <laughs> <laughs> and she she left and, and took whatever um I was dropping off and stuff but her laughing was truly one of the pleasures of life great Allison <laughs> thank you thank you for all those precious memories great and Janet Vanderbilt For some reason or other, I couldn't figure out how to unmute. But um, one thing I want to say is that I have a friend on the call named Mary. And Mary was invited to Patricia's house just to investigate wisdom. And she and Patricia, uh, in talking, she has such an admiration for Patricia. And when I was telling her about Patricia's condition, uh, she called Patricia and prayed for her. And um, Mary's on the call today. And it's just like, um, she made such an impression on my friend that my friend is here because she cares about her. And I am 
I'm just like, that's who Patricia is. You know, you don't have to um, become a wisdom person. She is just going to be in your life and talk to you. And she's, she's just like that. And my funny story about Patricia, I didn't want to talk today because I just didn't think I could hold it. But um, Patricia had the police at my house because uh, I didn't show up Monday. And I got the, um, her love for me because not only did she have the police at my house, but she had called the hospitals and everywhere else because I didn't show up. And how I, what it was is that I had, um, there was a whole line of emails. And in that email, I said, Patricia, I'm not going to be there. But she didn't see that email. And since she didn't see that email, she was just like uh, totally upset. And I have never had anyone call the police to my house to do a wellness check. And she also called Mary because she knew Mary was my friend. She was looking for me because she knew I was supposed to be there and she hadn't seen that wow. email. And as far as I'm concerned, that's, uh, that's when I got the level of uh, love for me. So and I just great. wanted to say that. And uh, Isaiah and David, oh, wow. You no, know, she always talked about you. You know it. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. And Soraya. Oh, I'm so, so, um, I'm, I'm trying to hold, hold it myself. I, I, I met Patricia in 2010 when I did the wisdom course and like others were sharing, it was a relationship of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I represented, um, designers who create beautiful works of art. And she had a face that carried art so well. She had a neckline and this beautiful face. And immediately we were in the business of art dealing between us. So whenever she saw me, it was my earring. And whenever I saw her, it was her earring. And she got a few pieces of her own. So that's how our relationship started. But what I what I got from Patricia as a newcomer to the wisdom division or a new person on in the course was the immense love and welcoming space that she was from day one. And I always wanted to be around her. I I I was so grateful I got to assist this last year with her. My life has blossomed as a result of just being in that clearing that she is. And I had one experience with Patricia, well, many, but this one really, really impacted me so powerfully. Uh, Bob invited me to a community Saturday as he always has, and I probably always will, and I always say yes. And I did show up and I was dealing with both parents being very sick and they both live in South Africa. And I was so stuck on the fear of going and the cost of it. And like the, there was so much fear and, and suffering around it. And she said to me, Sarah, and, and, and just a few words that she said to me freed me up so much that I was able to leave on the next flight to South Africa mm. to be with both my parents. And they both survived whatever they were dealing with. And each time that happened, I was still able to be with both of them and with my mom. And I so wanted my mother to be in one of our weekends from South Africa. And she survived so many crises and she still survived Omicron recently. Um, but I say that because I recognized in that moment, like others have shared, that there's nothing wrong and this is how it looks when life is working. Mm. And that's what I will always take with me. And I I have a few regrets, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on those anymore. I had them. I give those up right here, right now. Because I wish I could have immersed myself even more in her world. But I'm still growing and I can I will continue to grow in this community. So thank you. 
Great, Soraya, thank you. All right, we're almost coming to the end of our time that we have scheduled, and I wanted to give Mary Harris a chance. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Angela. It's great to be here. I'm in Minneapolis and I've been a facilitator for Wisdom of Course. So that's one of my ways I get to participate with, with Patricia. And what I'm taking away is uh, I still I very much feel like I have her with me. And so I'm glad that like our spirits resonated from early on and we just love each other. And she always appreciated my voice. I'm a singer and uh, always welcomed me to be able to sing a song. And she had a sparkle in her eye and I had a sparkle in my eye and it was fun to text with her late at night and this and that, you know? So it's so great to have, we all have what we have. It's so great to see her grandson and just hear so many people love her up. So there's a, a chorus of a song that I like to offer if I may. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Cause she was such a friend to so many of us. No matter how long we knew her, or if we knew her at all, you know, just passing by, you could feel her. So I'm going to sing a chorus of You Got a Friend. You just call on my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you again. Oh, you got a friend, winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you got to do is call, and I'll be there. Yes, I will. You got a friend. Do, 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 do. You got a friend. Do, 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 do. You got a friend. I'd say that's the blessing she left with all of us. It's certainly the blessing I'm walking away with. Thank you. Love yes, you. Yes, Mary. Thank Yay. You. Thanks, Thank baby. You. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. All right. So I said at the beginning, the name of this event was Love Out Loud. And the, so the expression of Patricia, and thank you for that beautiful song. And I'm sorry, we do have some more people who had their hands up. I'm sorry, we haven't had a chance to get to you. What we wanted to, what we, uh, there's a few things I wanted to end with just to give you uh, information about Alan's been putting in the chat. If you wanted to get a copy of the recording or a copy of the slides, um, the photos and the and the collages. So a number of people made collages that were uh, either reminded them of Patricia or made them in honor of Patricia. And we have this amazing uh, photo collection also accompanied by some beautiful cello music played by one of our wisdom graduates in terms of really expressing Patricia's love for music and art too. So, um, you know, one of the things Patricia loved, she loved sharing, she loved participation. If, there, if any of you would like to participate with Landmark or with the Wisdom Course or you want more information, please do put that in the chat or otherwise like let us know because that's what she loved. That's what Patricia loved is put people participating. So, um, and let me see. Uh, oh, and then also they also put in the chat um, information. The family would welcome cards. They're sharing cards with each other. If, there's, if you wanted to write out a card and let, people in the family know one of your favorite memories or favorite contributions from Patricia. The, um, Joan is one of the sisters who lives in Oklahoma. She's collecting those cards for the family. And so the, the, what we wanted to do here at the, at the end is we wanted to show the slideshow again of the photos. And, uh, and if there's any that you wanted if there's any you wanted to share about, Alan could actually stop, or we hope he can, like stop on a certain photo if there's anything that you wanted to say about any of the photos in particular. So if we thank everybody for being with us. We thank you for everything you were contributed to by Patricia, your contributions to Patricia, and sharing in this wonderful event in terms of cherishing this love out loud that Patricia was and that she lived. So. So 
Oh, and uh, yes, so if you want to link to the recording, the session, uh, Alan's putting that in the email right now. So, all right. I want to thank you so much. Yep. Who was that? It was Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Jerry, thank you. Thank no, you like for the photo. Beautiful program. Thank you. Mm. Thank you all, all the sisters and brothers and David and Isaiah for being here with us and the people from her work. Thank you so much. I think a little bit louder, Alan. Yep. I was just playing music under you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fade it in like, you know. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to do this by hand instead of having the five second timer. So oh, feel, okay. feel free to just, uh, especially family members or anybody, just shout out any kind of recollections. Um, better? Okay, there we go. That's in Arizona. Oh, yeah. That was Arizona? Oh. This one is, yeah. The next yeah. one is Thanksgiving at my sister Helen's house. Uh -huh. oh. Look at those terrines of food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> at our family picnic. That was her 70th birthday. Mm. <laughs> it was sister weekend in Springfield. One of our sister weekends in Springfield. Uh, that's great. Farmer's oh, market. <laughs> yeah, look at those. Look at these tomatoes, man, and the, the yeah. onions, jeez. Oh, those are cabbages on the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought that was a watermelon. <laughs> oh, those watermelon. cabbages weighed about 20 pounds. <laughs> Whoa. Can you tell which one is Pat? No. No. I had a... I had a really hard time looking at these to figure out that. In the middle of the back, back, I think. In the middle of the back. That's the third oh, yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You gotta you gotta use the hair. That's the look for the hair first. How old how old was she there? Oops. Oh wow. Yeah. Twenty five, maybe. I, how much? Was I bet it was sixty five. I bet yeah, it's right out of high school. So she would have been 18 because there's 18 years in our, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jigsaw puzzle. A puzzle. Very good guess. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how long was she a nun? Was she ever a nun? No, she never completed her vows. Ah, four years. Yeah. Four years. But look at that concentration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. And there she is. Right over here. Where? Where? Yeah. Right, right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cutie pie. Now, what what year was she born? What year was she born? Forty mm -hmm. six. Wow. Ooh. And there, there she is, is, right there. Oh, what's, right there. Okay. What's this yeah, word, no. sodality? What is that? Um, it's like a Catholic women's organization, I think. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that's what yeah, it the is. women's sodality, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It was something you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm -hmm. Supposed to do, right? To do. <laughs> right on. <laughs> right. <laughs> So 
so great you marked you marked some of these pictures it's so great yeah. i know i'm so glad helen did that yeah so we could tell otherwise right. i wouldn't have known what some years of them. this yeah 61. Yeah. <laughs> she looks just... like isaiah there doesn't she yes yeah i think wow. she looks so much like isaiah wow did you see that it, it said no one is left out mm. Mm -hmm. look at that <laughs> i can get what? that i get what? that yeah mm -hmm. yeah he was always fearsome in a good way oh. that's our brother tim with her mm. out of the family farm Boy. <laughs> I I this. A comment. Here she is curled up with the New York Times or something. <laughs> yes, I love that expression. I know that look. Knowledge. <laughs> Her thirst for knowledge never stopped. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Sisters Weekend. All right, this one's hard. <laughs> there, no hair. Fisher. You can't tell from the hair. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen. <laughs> Which one is it, girls? She's the fourth think... one. To the left of the priest. The tall one. Yeah. This right one. there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. The fourth, right there. I think the next step would have been the black veil. Yeah. And that's mm. the step she didn't take. Ah. Uh. She didn't like black then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. her, all she wore was black and white, but mm. look at that. Yeah. I love her hairstyle. <laughs> Very 60s. Second one? Yes. Well, the second one in the back. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Speech, spring oh. speech, meet. That's in her crowd. Yeah, this is the party that's room. That, that's you guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my that God. Wow. <laughs> that's quite a group. Yep. That's Indeed. a big group. Yep. <laughs> Not the half of it. See her. Where is her. that party room? In her building. Is it in yeah. her building? Fifth, fifth floor, floor or something? Or? Fifth floor, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's the love of her life. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving. <laughs> David yeah. That's why there's yeah. two plates of food. Good grief. David and Isaiah made her food and took it to the rehab center. Wow. Oh. wow. For Thanksgiving. You know, man. What a spread. And Thanksgiving. Yeah! Carla. 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 <laughs> Last time I saw her in person, July 2021, my birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Too. cool. In person. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. Yes. <laughs> this is a great picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. There's another one here. There we go. Oh, nice. oh yes. <laughs> fun. Fun. Those are fun. Yeah. What was the occasion there? Just a birthday party? Yeah. My birthday, birthday party. Yeah. Great. <laughs> well, they know this how to uh, party. <laughs> this was uh, Connecticut. I we went out to visit yeah. Margie. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even lobsters light up when Patricia's around. That's great. 
Helen, you know where that scarf is, right? <laughs> no, where? <laughs> That's cool. Where was that? That's also kinetic. We were walking around the town. Oh. Doing a little touristy stuff while we were hanging out. She talked good. about that trip in Connecticut. Yeah. That's a good okay. Trip. Let's That's see. her living room, yes? Yep. Mm -hmm. There she is. Yeah. Yep. Here. What a crowd, what a crowd. <laughs> what a crowd is right. <laughs> There's lots of rockets. She has great taste. There's no more crying. Yeah. Tom Horn. Oh, that Janice. That room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Chris. There she 20, is. 20. Oh. There's Bruce. Oh, mm -hmm. Mark yeah. Friend. Yeah. How long did Patricia live in Chicago? Oh, I think from about the time David was 13. Wow. And, and she immediately felt like it was home. David 13. Did she go there for the job? Uh, yes, she did. But I think she is. David, are you still on here? I think David left. I think she wanted David to start high school up there too. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember too, Jerry. So that would have been like 1981. Wow. Oh, okay. So 40 years then. In I know. Wow. <laughs> Me saying oh. his 13 doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Rockets. That's good. What a good picture. Yeah. yeah. She was so beautiful. Yes. Oh, the days when we were in person. No. Yes. Yeah. It was a nice picture. I love oh, this. Oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. Where was this? All the scarves. Is that her apartment? Well, um, I think this is. Oh, Lake Michigan. That's on her Muslim. balcony. On her that's balcony. her balcony. Looking east. Yeah. Yeah. Looking east with a reflection. Right, right. It must be a reflection in the window. Yeah, yeah that's a reflection yeah. off the it glass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Looks so happy there. Is that Samuel? <laughs> yes. Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I sent that to Samuel's dad, too. Oh, that's great. That was um that would have been her great great her great nephew? Yeah, great, great nephew. nephew. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, great nephew, Samuel. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? Great. And she never she never missed a moment, a chance to teach. Hmm. Even yes. there, look at her. She's, right. she's working on teaching him something. She's working it. Observing. <laughs> yep. It's drawn to her. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my. For Tilla's of... chocolate cake. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay, there's Janet. To blow that out. No, that's yeah. Janet and Jennifer who shared today are in that picture. Uh -huh. yeah. With yeah. Her. Yeah. And it was most of our birthdays. Yeah. Okay. Most of our birthdays. Was it <laughs> April birthdays? It April. was April birthdays. I had forgotten what that picture was from. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's her been. birthday's coming up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinner. Dinner. Oh, two weeks from tomorrow. Wow. That's I my, that's my birthday party. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's another sister's weekend. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God you labeled these, because otherwise it's like, oh, oh, oh. There's so the loves of her life. Yay. Yep. yep. Well, that's why we put it there. Number. Number 18. So there were nine girls, is that it? There were nine girls? Yes. That's we had one. we had nine girls and five boys. Wow. 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 What a crew. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's a no. That's a good picture. That's yeah. Boy, if that doesn't spell love. Yeah. Oh, Mary. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they're, I bet they're whooping we it up are up laughing there. hard right yeah, now. I'm kidding. Yeah. She was wearing it at one of her meetings. 
New Year's Eve party. <laughs> this was the year end. Year end Cheryl's wisdom. house. Year end wisdom event. Oh wow! Wow. Another Mary and Patricia Another picture. One. You know, in these pictures with landmarks, you can just feel the love, can't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. With all these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bonita. Oh, Bonita. Oh. Oh, oh, sweet. You know, that was that was at uh, when Father and Sons was closing. You know, the, oh. the city team oh. used to go to uh, Father and Sons after, and. Um, Margie and Chuck were in town for, and oh. it was the last time that we went as a city team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I first took Margie there. Oh my gosh. When was it? Like in 1994 or five, something like that. And, wow. and so it became a tradition and, uh -huh. and then later the team would always be there. Yep. Yeah. We'd have yeah, our meetings great. on Thursday, go to father and son afterwards. And right. and we kept going until they closed, I think. That's yeah. right. This that, is the last that was gathering. the last time we were there. They, they this were is closing. the last gathering right here. We were yeah. about to wow. close. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, that table behind them is, is all of us. <laughs> I love that heard you two. Uh, I think that was share, I think that was a, a Halloween party at Cheryl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patricia came as a storm. She had a tornado. She had all this stuff oh. over her skirt. This is so great. Oh. oh boy. I'm thinking <laughs> I hope that's a Halloween party. It better it better be, you know. Yeah. Or Dia de los Muertos. I don't know. Yeah. Is that Carla? Uniform, Carla, you know? is that you in the middle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Millennium <laughs> Park. Where's Jennifer? Yeah, Cheryl, hey. do you remember this day? We must have had some event at Patricia's, and then you and she and I walked. There's like a big courtyard behind her building. We walked all around there, and then where they're building the new high school and the really cool progressive school, and then over to Millennium Park. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. And there's nice Cheryl. Nice yeah. Shot. That was a really special day. That's in Springfield. On a sisters' oh. weekend. Oh. Mm. oh, okay. He loved the sisters' weekend. <laughs> she can wear a hat, right? There you <laughs> all are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh, oh, yes. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, she was so proud. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that brought her such joy. She would drive down to St. Louis to watch him play football. Wow. <laughs> Along with a few other things she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> great. Hello, Patricia. There she is. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. Girl it's friend. Great. That's Jory all the way in the background there. Yep, and Scott yeah, Herbst right there. behind her. Scott Herbst. Yeah. Tom Loden yeah. over on the left by the wall. Oh, yeah. Paul, this Paul, Paul, oh, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Paul McMichael there, yeah. Boy, that's that was, a for, really my community, good that was for my community book for partnership. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Great. That's, great. that's cool. That's a lovely picture. Nice picture. Yeah. Really that's captures her. Oh, that's, that's, that's girlfriend. That's girlfriend right there. Oh, Tom and Amina. Oh, Tom and Amina. This is uh, Kim's mom, Kim, isn't it? Kim, yeah, wow, Kim Sousa's Kim's mom's birthday. No, nice. uh, it was my birthday. Oh. And my mom came. <laughs> oh, your Kim's birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, your mom was there. Yep. So it's Patricia, my mom. My mom, she, she died two years ago at 96. Oh. Uh, so she'll be hanging out with them too. That's Bernadette yeah. O'Shea. Ah, yeah. And then um, Tom and Avina Ward. All uh, right. Yep, yep, yep. Avina. Always with the scarves. Look at all the scarves she's yeah. got. Yeah. That's okay. in Sedona. Sedona. Oh, all it's right. lovely. Wow. Yeah, it was lovely. It almost looked like Red Rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sedona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Now, I don't know where this, this is. This is down at Soulard. Yeah. Is? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Don't you just love all the expressions? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was yeah. the year that it would be treat with chemo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right yeah. After uh-huh. the- yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I was in Patricia's seminar and we created Team 31 as her seminar group who were supporting her with that. Wow. Oh, good. You know, I remember she was losing her hair was falling out right before that. And she just decided the night before she came to Sisters Weekend that she was just going to shave it off. She's mm-hmm. just gorgeous, isn't she? This yeah. Is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. A friend of hers just helped her cut it off. It's wow. cool. totally gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And then she got a whole bunch of hats too, new hats. And then yeah. there, oh, yeah. I'm trying right. to time the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at the pic. Look at the camera now. 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 It's probably That's like this hair. camera. No, now this one. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair, how it's changed so much. We were young. <laughs> family picnic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mom and Patricia. Hmm. That's your There's mother. The... That's your yes. mother. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh. So wow. Weird. Mm. There's their satisfied expressions, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I love, I love the looks. Hmm. The expressions are telling. No, is that her? Is that her? When she was a baby? Yes. Only <laughs> one. One kid. Yes. <laughs> <It's> mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they made the up rest, for it. Went fast. The rest are yet to come. <laughs> uh, they made up for it. You're right. You're right. Oh, boy. <laughs> are those your were those your grandparents too? Or was that like uh, the one was our grandmother? Yeah. I can't see. Well, is that Aunt Nell? The other one's Aunt Nell. Okay, mm. that's Dad's yeah. sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's wow. your mother and father there, right? Uh-huh. Looks like somebody was in the oven. <laughs> uh, yeah. so. who, yeah. who would have been? Probably. Who would that? Who would that have been? Joan from oh. Oklahoma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know she had fourteen kids in eighteen years. Oh, wow. That was that, um, oh, that was a wow. that was a mm. restaurant Whoa. oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commercial mm. oven. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and no twin, no twins, right? No, twin. no twins. No. Wow. Ellen. Oh, there's Alan. Yeah. So. Alan. This, is, this is Connecticut. Yes. Yeah. And Janice. Oh, Janice. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Margie and Chuck. And now that's yeah. Margie. The, I don't know okay. if the, if the, your sisters and brothers people were sharing about Margie. She actually oh. led the wisdom course, and then uh-huh. Patricia. What uh, she, Margie was Patricia's mentor, and she assisted with her for years. Very yeah. good, um, yeah. This, yeah. This so, is the uh, that's from father and son about. again as well. Yeah. And now they're having martinis together. Oh yeah. 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 Yes. Maybe in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> it's the party uh, room. I think. That's at the party room. Yeah. Oh. That was the last time we saw her in person. Oh boy! Right before the lockdown. Yeah. So we're on. That was like what, 20, 20, 19, yeah. 19, 20, 2020, 2020, January. 2020. Actually, last time. Oh uh, my it gosh! Was for, it was for Margie's um, retirement party. Oh right. Wow. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Wow. You look so cute, Ron. <laughs> there. That's the one I think Patricia might be taking that picture. Because oh. look at Dad. He's really focusing oh. on the <laughs> photograph. <laughs> wow. Great picture. Yep. 
Mm. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did she play the Virgin Mary in the Christmas? Yes. Party? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Very nicely done. Nice. <laughs> Some party somewhere. Yeah. Lillian. Lillian Savik. Oh wow. Yeah, Ooh. Lillian. Nice. Probably her birthday at La Colonial. Nice. A few years ago. Thanks, Jennifer. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Joe McGuan. Oh, I haven't seen Joe in a long time. And that's Lolita and Garland. I don't Deanna. know. Deanna on the right. Uh, okay. Anna oh, McMillan. I don't know who's behind Patricia. And look at that spread. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Wales, look at those gladiolas. There was, was yeah. their apartment or was this someplace else? Her condo. The condo. The condo. That's her apartment almost every weekend. Mm. Right. Paul That's Mac behind her. <clears throat> and, cat, oh, wow, and Carmel, yeah. her cat, would be lurking somewhere waiting <clears throat> for everybody to be not in the kitchen so that the cat <laughs> could jump on the counter and drink the half and half from the little yeah. creamer pitcher. Oh, yeah. that little skimmer. <laughs> I'm guilty of taking too much cream. That was me. <laughs> She'd yell well, at Carmel, and Carmel would just look at her. It's like, are you going to come make me get off the counter? Yeah. Carmel yeah. was busy being a cat. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Is that yeah. a free film? Yep. Yeah. I'm so really inspired to have a drink later tonight. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Probably a martini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is good. Yeah. Look like mm. sisters. That's yeah. Daisy yeah. on That's the left. Or Daisy on the right. Dixie and yeah. Christine. Dixie, yes. Dixie. Yes. Dixie. And Stan and Paul Bain on their end. Your end. There's Stan and Jerry who shared. Oh, yeah. Marcy on the left. Oh, and, and Margie. Margie. And Margie. Margie. Yeah. And yeah. that's Mark Flash and next to Margie from New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> we need a big group like this to keep all the names straight. Oh my gosh. All right. There's oh, that's a great picture. Nice. That's one of my favorites. Oh my oh, God. God. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I love that's, that. That's the choice right there. Yes. Back together again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there's yeah, this, not that little picture of Marjorie and Patricia. I just want to catch that. Oh, um, you can get, send me an email. I'll send you the link to the album. You can get the oh, whole set. Cool. Thank yep. you. Alan, what's your email oh, to get the link? It's uh, in the chat. On. The email is in the chat. Transformation. Oh, thank you. There thank you. There it is. Alan, you did such a spectacular job. This is just. Thank, thank you. you so oh, much. Great yes. material. Lots thank of really you, good Alan. Oh, sure. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Great to have you. Thank you, Alan. Oh, thank you. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Alan. Thank you. All right. all right. that all the, that all, oh, that wasn't There's all the oh, oh, keep going. I love you all. I've got to go. Hop bye, on bye, bye. 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 bye, Mom. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Alan, Alan, go back to the one before that one. Yeah. We have another Zoom in two minutes. All right. Well, thank you. That one. Hey, okay. Thank you. Wrap it up. No, no. Keep going. No, no, no. Okay. Keep going. Right. Right. Okay. 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 If people hey, need to leave. Who is this guy? Who is Oopsie, this? Sorry. Ricardo. Is that Ricardo? It was. Yes, Ricardo, yes, right? Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo. Yes. He just, he he just moved. Today. Yeah, he just yeah. moved too. Yes, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Wendy Wasser. All oh, right. Yep. With nice antlers. In the party room. <laughs> <laughs> Another crazy bunch here. Yeah. In her apartment. Gosh. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, there she is. Yeah. I remember yeah, Patricia maybe. going to her autobiography and showing me the picture of family when the baby boy was born. Mm -hmm. oh. And the impact it had on was a whole bunch of girls first. Was it a whole bunch of girls first? Yeah. 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 And, and there she is with her hand down as the baby boy was born. 
and the Ish, Irish yeah, Catholics yeah. will appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> Another lobster shot. Mm. Seat over hey, here. It's his birthday. Um, uh, yeah, Stasha's birthday. Oh, yeah. Patricia's birthday? It's Stasha's. Stasha. Stasha. Where's Stasha? Stasha, Janelle. Stasha. Mary, Stasha. Ellen. Purple? Yeah. Oh, I didn't recognize her. And Ellen's on the left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, Ellen Carp. Mary, Janelle, Chuck. I can't remember who the person in the back is. And I think that's it for the photos. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Angela. Thank, Thank you. Mary. So much, Angela. Thanks, Angela. Thanks, Angela. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Thank tribute. Thank Thanks you. to all the Doherty's. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doherty. The Doherty platoon. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, Bye. Bye. So great. Bye-bye, so everyone. Bye-bye. Everybody. Thank you for Thank show, you, showing us the side of Pat we did not know. Mm -hmm. yes. You're so welcome. Thank you for sharing with us, Mary Jane, and all of you sides we didn't know. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, really. Absolutely. So, yeah. I want to show the collages. Does anybody want to see the collages too? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Want to see the collages. Yeah. All right, Ellen. Let's pop those up here. I'm through the collages too. So. Mm. All right. Uh, hats off to Kim Ciesla for arranging a collage party earlier this week and uh, for several of the collages. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Oh, oh that's wow. Good. That is that gorgeous. hat is just oh, so stunning. That is just so beautiful. Oh, Ooh, that's lovely. Wow. Oh. Mm. That's so long. Huh. <laughs> mm. ah. I love this. I can't. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, right. Mm. This one I did that Tuesday. I found this picture of this mm. lady in armor. I thought, mm. yes. that's that's Patricia. You know, wow. So. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Remember that last time we went to it again? There she is. Mm. Will, the, will the link to the collages be available as well? Yeah. This, both of, both albums. I'll be sending the link out to okay. get that set up Thank tonight. You. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> and you can just send an email to transformasian at yahoo.com if you want either of them. Wow. So. I'll do that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Anne. It's in it's in the chat. So transformation at yeah. Mm -hmm. Great email, by the way. That is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hamsters. That's awesome. Yeah, you can't quite see it. There's mm -hmm. a. There's, There's a, string a hamster. hamster and a holding onto a hamster with a flower for another hamster. Oh my! God. Oh. 
kind of hard to see. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's your lunch? Well, there's some in the little pot. There's some vegetables. Okay. Are you talking please dinner? Mute yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Mm. oh, look at that Coke bottle. Yeah. I like the women holding the mics for one another. Yes, yeah. for each yeah. other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Beauty. Yeah. Mm. Comes in all forms. Look at all the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little kid peeking through. Yep. Mm -hmm. Puppy dogs. Hmm. This this I put this one together and it started from this phrase, use what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Patricia. And it's the collages. Oh, oh, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. It was so nice to meet you. Yep. It was. It was wonderful to meet all of you. Yes. Really. Okay, Bye. good to see you, Mary. Thank you. Mary Harris, carry on, good to see you. Carry on, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Bye. 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 It was nice so to meet everybody. everybody. Thank nice you. Much love. Bye-bye. Blessings. Blessings to you. Sharing her with us. <laughs>